if we talked about Kennedy cool. on the show, like like you with us, never. I know, I know the show has talked about Kennedy. You know, like everybody has. But but have we ever had the Kennedy? Talk uh, I think it got passively mentioned on the episode that Woody wasn't here for. I've uh, like Harley and everyone was on. Yeah. I remember watching. I don't think we talked uh, much though. I'd it, like to. I don't know too much about it. Did Oliver Stone make the movie, the JFK movie? Is that who made it? Yes, yeah. I remember, remember watching Remember Your that. King. Yeah, that's the Oliver Stone movie. I remember that. Anyone who's never seen JFK, you should watch it. It's a tremendous film. Great cast. Got our boy Kevin Spacey <clears> in there. And uh, it, it, I remember at the end of it, there's something. his boy is Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> it's got your boy. <laughs> Part of the gang, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. We go all, way back. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle is president of the Kevin Stacey Stan Club. <laughs> <laughs> I like that our boys are like Kevin Spacey and I don't know who's the fucking guy who didn't kill himself. Epstein. Oh, Epstein. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he is not our boy. I don't know. I don't know. He's He's not, he was just Epstein he was just, just a fun loving playboy who liked to have a good time. <clears throat> Yeah. Jesus. is what That's I've heard. Hot. Is what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if that wasn't it, then surely that all that information with Ghislaine's list, they would have looked into it, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what the guard at the penitentiary told me. I don't know what, yeah. what else is going on. <laughs> that's what the guy who wasn't in prison there, the, the former cop with his pit bulls and his 22-inch arms, that's what he told you before the cameras went out. With his at magical the, uh... camera racing capabilities. Yeah. <laughs> At the that end of JFK, wild. though, there's a part where, I don't know, there's some text on the screen, maybe, and they're like, they give a date in roughly 2020 when they're, like, they're going to open these files and they'll be available for the public. And then, like, that came, right? Or you're probably like, oh, yeah, where's this file? They, 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 like, pushed it forward again. They pushed it forward again. They're like, nah, we changed their mind. No shit. <laughs> Kick the can down the road. No, I remember my dad looked that. at me. My dad, I guess, didn't think he'd live to 2020 at the time. He was like, make sure that you look into that. <laughs> like back then i remember so well, like 30 years ago like, like, make sure you look into that i, I want when do you know to get even, red pills even more and so, so the jfk files are a mm -hmm. whole thing there's like hundreds of pages of declassified cia info that mm -hmm. you mentioned my last video about the uh the vampire attacks part of it actually came from the jfk files so it's like this book of information and then what they did is they took stuff like jfk stuff relating to MLK uh, Nazi groups in South America. And they released like a few pages and then redacted the rest. And it was like, that'll be another 10, 20 years. Like, all right. So they acknowledge it exists, but they're like, these 40 pages? No. What, 24? When we're all dead, that's when you can look at it. <laughs> and then the people alive then will be like, nah, nah. Let's, push that. <laughs> Let's kick that can a little further down the road. I, and, I haven't and then seen Kyle tells that. his son, like, you look out for that <laughs> whenever that comes around. Well, I don't know if it's true, but it, it's right here. Zach wrote it. <laughs> White House <laughs> delays the, re the release of secret JFK assassination records, citing COVID-19. Damn. That sounds well, yeah, like them. That's dangerous. Yeah. That's you can't be you know, reading that on your phone. Hey, that's what killed JFK. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I've heard it's a good. I've heard the JFK movie is good and and entertaining, but like, I, I don't even know what their claim is for who did it in the JFK movie, like CIA or something. I guess based on the redacted thing, but we know for sure that that's not the full story in that movie. Correct. Like. Yeah. The, the, if the people out there were powerful enough to kill JFK, they're powerful enough to kill someone trying to tell the story of how JFK was killed, you know? Like, yeah. the, they wouldn't a allow weird... a movie like that to come out yeah, if it was really weird... spilling, like, state secret beans, you know? There's a lot of yeah. weird stuff with the Cubans uh, and with Ka and with, um, with, with, uh, with with Oswald. I've never thought the mob stuff was particularly compelling, but the Cuban stuff, the um um all the CIA stuff um with Oswald um and then there's that one guy who's uh Ru the, all the Ruby stuff is really weird Jack Ruby yeah he was then, in the mob or mob connected right yeah he did uh well he was more of like an enforcer for random stuff uh like mob connection yes but he wasn't in the mob he wasn't like uh, a okay. big member or anything yeah the whole thing's wild uh and then and then that shot that he supposedly made. I don't know. That's, and then they killed his brother. After firing three shots out of a bolt action in like two seconds. Like that guy had sleight of hand on up there. <laughs> 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 yeah, like what, what's there. hard to do, and like if you've never like tried to do it in real, if you've only played video games with scoped guns, like 
shooting the gun and then chambering a new round and then putting it back up to your ear and getting that sight picture and then kind of getting settled into it. Like Mm -hmm. that, it seems quick, but it's precious seconds that you need. If you're trying to shoot a guy driving away from you in a fucking Lincoln or whatever, is is the plane three, they say it was three bolt action shots. Yes. Three bolt action shots out of a six, five Carcano rifle. Um, as he was driving away, fired in the time span of a little over three seconds, if I remember correctly. So the first shot was a miss. It supposedly, it skipped off the pavement and hit a guy who was walking down the street. The second shot is the magic bullet. That's the one that supposedly, hold up, let me think, I'm JFK. It hit him in the neck, went forward into his arm, down into his thigh, out of the front of his knee, into the seat in front of him and hit the governor in the back and was perfectly intact. And then the <laughs> third, that's why whenever, when you watch the uh, Zapruder film, he's holding his neck because he had just been shot in the neck. So he's leaned over holding his neck. And then the third shot was the one through the head. So oh. yeah, three shots, like super fast from a bookstore window, several hundred feet back. Just a lot of, a lot of variables happening at once. So is, um, do you not think that Lee Harvey like you think he was maybe framed or where does he kind of fit into the mix? Uh, so leave heart. Yes. Yeah. There's the magic bullet. So yeah. Into the back, then the neck, then the arm, then the leg. Uh, and then surprisingly was all in one piece in, if in court, they call it the magic bullet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they tend to not do that so much. Um, yeah, bullets do weird stuff. Um, I don't know about all that shit. And then it being pristine at the end is the real, weird thing because they get all warped yeah. up and and beat up after hitting bones and stuff and i don't know car it looks like there were like six points of contact in that graphic like that would ball up and fuck a bullet up right if it's like full that. metal jacket it stays pointy like, like like really yeah it's not gonna mushroom back it's gonna stay uh and that is full metal jacket it's gonna stay together but it's gonna look worse than that um that yeah. that would be a real pristine bullet if you found that like out on the sand at a firing range you know downrange if you go downrange at like knob creek in kentucky um millions of rounds have been fired that way and so if you just go down there start like kicking dirt you could just piles of the lead you know the projectiles just mm-hmm. every kind you can imagine like, like and you can see that like well, not too many are pristine unless it unless it what I got him. See, no, I I got him. You guys were so still, I couldn't tell if all of you froze. I'm like, maybe it's me. No. You're good. You're good now. You're good. Yeah, now, you said Kyle. unless it, it they wouldn't be the bullets would not be pristine unless. Um, um, unless you hit sand or something. It was like 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 um we would shoot bullets into uh you know that rubber stuff they use for landscaping. You can mm-hmm. fill up like a trash can up with that and use that as a bullet stop. If you're doing like ammo tests and stuff, you shoot right in, it'll catch the bullet. The bullet's in pretty pristine condition because it's going through soft rubber. But when you hit dirt and rocks and shit, the bullets get mangled. I don't know. You, whenever I've hit animals and recovered them, they were mangled too. Uh, I don't know about all that. You know, so I, they call it a magic the, bullet for a reason. They so, could hard to kill that guy. Yeah. What was yeah, the, the Lee Harvey? Did. Like, what, so what, what, yeah. I'm not positive about this one because I haven't like dove into the research regarding him specifically. Whenever I was doing my MLK assassination video, I saw this and like quickly followed it and I was like, all right. Whenever I do. Whenever I remake a full board JFK video, I will come back to this. Um, but Lee Harvey Oswald was an employee at the bookstore, and according to official records, he was a uh, he was a communist sympathizer. Didn't like JFK. It was during the Cold War, so they just mm-hmm. called him a commie because that was the idea. Um, so he is <laughs> wait wait. Um, <laughs> He supposedly just decided that he was going to kill the president whenever he heard that the president was going along that area. Um, So he, I'm sorry, I'm I'm going branded right now. Does something need to be said? Um, No, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I I heard the the mic come on and I was like, oh, what's going on? That's never (laughs) happened before. Yeah, we heard you typing. audio, Audio and we heard him typing and. That's why. That's why I froze up. I'm like, is is this an emergency announcement? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I, I thought it was just going to stop. No big deal. Russia you're good. You're good. You're good. Nukes at last. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. They, they're getting uh, first. They got Kyle. Now they got Zach. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so 
St- to stay on the train of thought, supposedly Lee Harvey Oswald just hated the president and the United States wanted to kill him. According to a report, this was the quick thing I saw I haven't fully looked into. The initial police report is that, when because the police ran into the building, that mm-hmm. whenever they ran into the building, Lee Harvey Oswald was downstairs working, according to, like, so, like, again, this one report yeah. that I haven't validated, that he was just downstairs working working there, sweeping the floor or whatever. And then one of the police officers was murdered. Uh, Supposedly the first guy who ran into Oswald got shot. uh, And then Oswald escaped out of the bookstore and to an old movie theater, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then the police followed them there and arrested him. But that initial police report says that when they got in, Oswald was just there. He wasn't upstairs shooting another cop with a gun. So the, and then that report disappeared from the official record later. So the theory is that Oswald had was set up to be the fall guy or the mm-hmm. patsy. Um, and then later they just took that record out so that it would better fit the narrative that Oswald was the shooter. Um, on top of that, whenever Oswald was being held by the police, he kept saying, like, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, and then whenever they explained like the shooting and everything, he said, oh, so I'm the Patsy. I'm the fall guy. That's how this is going to work. And then he gets shot mm-hmm. by Jack Ruby. So a lot of people are dubious over the uh, Oswald connection. Um, uh, there's think a Jack Ruby once- may have killed him to cover up anything. You yes. Say, yeah. Or? Yeah. So oh. th- that, that's that's the theory. So Jack yeah. Ruby was a mob enforcer. He had carried out like jobs for th- that's why I said he wasn't specifically in the mob. He's more like a contractor. Mm-hmm. Um he supposedly just loved the president so much uh, that he decided to shoot the guy as he was being transferred to interrogation out of the kindness of his own heart. Um, yeah. So he gets gunned down. And then whenever they arrest him, he's like, oh, I just like the president. And it turns out he had cancer uh, and he died four months later. It was four, mm-hmm. so, four yeah, months or four years uh, soon after. And um, if I remember correctly, his family, like, that he had family debt and like hospital bills from his cancer that disappeared after he shot Oswald. So, hmm. That's and that was part of the, a lot of people throw that towards uh, the mob theory. They're like, Oh, maybe the mob hired him to do it to pay off his debt. It's like, yeah, the CIA, that's the mob you're looking yeah. for. <laughs> <laughs> they have a name and everything. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and they can do so that's, that's they like want. the Oswald theory and like the Ruby theory and all that. And of course, it goes into more of like there being a second shooter, the whole grassy knoll thing and all that. So what is the grassy knoll thing? I've always heard that like as a joke from Dale Gribble in King of the Hill. And I never looked like what is that all theory? Right. <laughs> so uh, Kennedy is in the back. Sorry. Go ahead, Kyle. Oh, I just said pocket sand quietly. so kennedy's in the lincoln uh he's going down the street and lee harvey oswald is in a bookstore behind him like to his like back right there is a grassy knoll as it's been dubbed which is a small hill underneath a tree by a fence to like his forward right both on the right side of the vehicle but the grassy knolls in front of him the only footage that we still have is of the shooting is the Sabruder film. That is the film. Uh, yes. Yeah, so there's a picture of the grass, you know, like up towards where the trees are back there, like the shadowy area. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, I don't think that wall's still there today, if I remember correctly, but like, the whole, it's like a little field essentially. Um, so anyway, the only footage that we have is of the Sabruder film. There was a cameraman standing on the same side of the vehicle of the camera shot we just saw who was filming the whole thing. So he filmed, or sorry, on the opposite side, he would have been over near the grassy knoll filming. Mm-hmm. So he's filming the whole thing and he films from that angle as the shots ring out and as Kennedy gets killed. In the footage on the Zapruder film, you can see that there is someone else across the street who is also filming on a camera. So that should be the solution, right? Because if our cameraman, the Zapruder cameraman's back here, and the shooter's over to his right, then the person on the other side of the street should have an angle of that. And supposedly, well, not supposedly, this is a fact, they recovered that footage and brought it into court during the trial that, like, the movie JFK is about and all that. So, yeah, so see how the pruder position is, like, next to the grassy knoll dude? Over there where the mouse is on the right side of the road is where this mystery cameraman was. So anyway, that footage makes its way into court. 
And it was not shown publicly. It was shown to a private jury. <laughs> the, the jury said that the evidence in the footage was compelling. And the next day, whenever they moved to make it public record, they misplaced the tape. And to this day, it's never been recovered. They just, oh, the, the no. biggest trial ever, they're like, oh, we misfiled it, I guess. It's just, womp, it's womp. not here anymore. Uh, but according to, to the luck. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, according <laughs> Man, to people, I hope some CIA guy didn't lose his job over that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? He worked stress? hard to file that paperwork, <laughs> man. Uh, no. According to the people who did see it, they're at the grassy knoll, which is, again, the position in the diagram. Whenever Kennedy's head explodes and he actually gets shot, there is a large puff of smoke from the grassy knoll. And that also lines up because Kennedy was in the Lincoln lean down like this. And whenever he got shot, supposedly from up here, his head jerked backwards and his whole body flew out the back. Which, yeah, your muscles can do weird stuff when you get shot. But it's much more likely if he was shot from the front that his head would shoot backwards like that rather than getting shot in the back of the head and, you know, having that reaction. Yeah, that just, so the idea yeah, is too. that the shooter was in front of him at the grassy knoll rather than behind him at the bookstore. Uh, there's also like the three right, bullets. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> the three bullets is also widely contested. Um, for example, supposedly the first shot's the one that skipped across the pavement and hit the guy watching the parade go by, right? Well, according to that guy's account, he heard a gunshot and stopped and then looked and then got struck in the leg. So supposedly, again, according to the theory, the grassy knoll guy fired first and then whoever's in the book, because there was someone in the bookstore, whoever mm -hmm. was in the bookstore, that shot is the one that hit him. Because there's no way this guy heard a gunshot and was like, I wonder what that could be. And then that gave enough time for the bullet to skip and hit him. No, um, yeah. That's not how that's not how speed works. That's well, not how speed works. Yeah, it, it would it, have to be some wacky shit, but it's possible. That's the fun thing. Like that bullet it, would have been like ding dong ding, and he hears <laughs> bang. <laughs> the bullet's still going bing bang ding. <laughs> like it's like that. a Looney Tunes cartoon yeah. jumping yeah. all around the square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and perfectly intact. <laughs> yeah, I never knew how much bullets bust until I started shooting a lot of racers, specifically like. Not just bang, 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 but when you've got like a belted machine gun shooting hundreds of tracers mm -hmm. at like that area and you're hitting like trees and stumps and rocks and hard pieces of dirt and soft pieces of dirt and water. Well, let's start making sharp turns that you don't think are like physically possible. They just make a right turn and they're already going 3000 yep. feet per second and they just yeah. hang a left. I've had that <laughs> same experience. I shot a, a saw. People know this is a belt-fed machine gun. It was on the ground with a bipod, and we were shooting it at a car. And uh, yeah, after the bullets hit the car, in my mind, they vanish, turn to powder, yeah. stop, disappear. Or yes, yeah, stop. yeah. See, like, oh. The CIA thinks that way too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, because they're traces, you can really see where they're going, and they're just zinging all over the place. Sometimes back at you. They're they do crazy things. And Kyle's right. Like that story they tell is improbable, but not impossible. So yeah. it what's crazy is it's like, okay, you're expecting me to believe that some wonky shit happened the day a president died. I'm not gonna buy that. I'm yeah, look, a president already died today, so I'm gonna just assume everything else went like it normally does in our plane of existence and assume <laughs> y'all had a guy hiding over there one up there probably a third we don't know about who just didn't have a clean shot like right I, yeah. I i just i think they conspired to kill that guy and there's just so many reasons he was a he was a fly in the pudding or whatever they say and the ointment is fly it in the ointment, ointment. Yep. that's what yeah. biden was talking about yeah yeah i think i'm a fly and the ointment a fly and the ointment a fly tried to get rid of me but i'm stuck like a fly and the ointment yeah, a fly yeah there there was there was a lot of reasons they would have wanted him dead they also did suspicious stuff that day like every time the president goes somewhere they put secret service everywhere and uh, the day of the Dallas drive, the Secret Service got together and they were like, um, hey, there's something like, I think the number was 1,200 windows he's going to be driving by. That's too many to cover. Let's just no security today. <laughs> I did not know about he's, that. He's, he's too exposed. No one watch him. <laughs> it's just a wasted effort. Let's hope. 
Like, <laughs> like that, that, is that can make he's sense. He's in God's hands were, now. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they just say, let's not CIA's do it. capable hands. Let's put the fucking top up. <laughs> Whose idea was the top down? I, ima- I I always think back to that scene in The Office when um, when Michael is driving and Dwight's in the passenger seat of his convertible PT Cruiser. And Dwight <laughs> thinks it's so cool to let the top down, but it's the middle of winter. And he's like, and he's already unbuckled them, and they're coming down, and it's there's no choice anymore. I just imagine that shitty governor of Texas wanted his picture taken with the president. He was like, no, 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 come on, come on, and he's like twisting power. Put the like, top down. Put yeah. the top down. And they have, like the the wife is like, fuck, this guy's an asshole. Like, ah, is that the, sh- the view from the grassy knoll? Oh. This would have been where the shooter was. Yeah. Wait, there could be clues on the fence. All right. That's- <laughs> Look, he wrote his name right there. <laughs> right there. His, his, name's, his name's Roy Sanchez. Roy. <laughs> that's so Roy close. Sanchez, you son of a gun. The Little trees Lewis know. I like. Monroe, I like that. Man. The trees know. That's pretty good. That goes on. Yeah, that's good. The trees know. That's good. That's a. Dude. That's a lot closer than I thought it was. The way that looked, like I don't know where he was when he got shot in perspective to like where that camera was just sitting. But if you were trying to shoot a guy in that suburban or whatever down there, that wouldn't be a challenge at all. It does. Like I thought that same Kyle's thing, play. but also I don't know. You know how cameras work. I, I feel like I can't take it at face value. I was just kind of looking at the sidewalk and the steps and kind of like doing it's, a little. It's I not feel a like long I could shot grab at all. It's like 80, oh. 70, 80 feet maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, okay. I have 70, a lens that would make that look He's like a hard dead. shot and an easy He's shot. He's super dead at 70 or 80 feet. Um, <laughs> Especially if you miss and you have a guy to cover your ass. Yeah, you've got like, what's funny is if that's true and they each fired like three shots, right? They were horrific. For like a couple seconds, it was like the Wild West. Just bam, 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 bam. He's yeah. missing all the shots. They're <laughs> skipping over the car. <laughs> yeah. Too bad he couldn't like Mr. Magoo his way out of that. Like he, just, he, he reaches down to tie his shoes at the right time. It's like, it's like the tires are popping behind him as he flips the street. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's not the word we live. Uh, hey, and then they killed Bobby. <laughs> and then they killed Bobby. Ken- what was that? Go- that guy's name was like Sir Han uh, right? Something like Bobby that. Kennedy? Yeah, the, the guy, the guy who showed up and shot him in a kitchen that the CIA, the Secret Service, just let him into, and then he gets shot, and then they burn the evidence. <laughs> They have to. They did it. This. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's 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 really weird. I you know like like I think we might be living. I, I think the, that America may, may have died sometime around that period in history, and we're just like the the leftovers. We're that, like that, riding they, the corpse as long as it'll go. Have you been asked if jet fuel can melt steel beams when the goons? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh boy, go to the comments of any of my conspiracy series. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty. I was much, told yeah. to ask you. Ah, interesting. Okay, um, that is, that's a complicated question. No, I'm kidding. Um, yes, it can. Uh, anything can uh, destroy anything of a given temperature if given enough pressure and uh, specifically tension. Like, yeah, if you hold up a jet fuel lighter to like a perfectly fine steel beam, it won't. But when you put the weight of the top of a skyscraper and it's about to break, and then you apply heat, yeah. So, yeah, I, I think I think what's often it. It's often yeah, discounted that 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 like when you have a skyscraper like that with windows blown out on either side full of jet fuel, you've sort of created a bit of a furnace. Mm-hmm. Like like you can create a furnace in your backyard where you get the wind moving correctly over the flames, and you can melt steel in your backyard with wood and some bricks. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you can know, you? I, I, it, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's it, what well, our ancestors like, did. Yeah, the wood will burn hotter in a furnace than it would otherwise because mm-hmm. um, the, it's set up for the airflow to to create this um, like siphoning effect. I don't know what it's called with with uh, with chimney uh, gases. Think. Yeah, like a chimney effect. So it's uh, and if you've got some uh, some some form of bellows to to like add air, mm-hmm. and uh, the way to do that now is to take a hair dryer and uh, run aluminum foil like at the end of it, so you don't melt the end of your hair dryer. But if you stick that in, you can make a crazy bellows that. You know the ancients would have been pumping something, some poor slave man, but uh, but yeah, you can get a you can melt steel real quick in your backyard wood. I'd, I'd be so proud of you. Oh, <laughs> your ancients hmm. would be so proud of you wiring like, a funnel to a hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> and what is steel? <laughs> um, but but yes, yeah, it can't. Like cor- correct, it does not melt steel beams if you normally hold it up, but in the conditions given, yeah, absolutely. Just like yeah. the rest of the building, <laughs> it melts it and then it makes it fall at free fall speed. 
Yeah, we yeah. all know that. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like knowing one or two things about every conspiracy and being and and that's about like and like yeah that's true and then someone's like but what about this and you're like well I didn't know that like <laughs> ob- obviously I didn't I was Google having fun it. yeah <laughs> now you made it not fun <laughs> yeah I know there oh you know, yeah I know I can Google skinwalkers and see that some scientist did a study that they're not real but that's not fun. Um, nobody's proven that the skinwalkers aren't real because they they can't be disproven. Yeah, the skinwalker says so. It's an unfalsifiable hypothesis. Yeah, yeah, Doctor Walker. Yeah, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing, Doctor Skinwalker? You. <laughs> it's always funny to like one up people <laughs> who legitimately believe in conspiracy theories. Like you know, if someone's like, "Oh, you really think jet fuel can melt still beams?" You're just like, "You think New York is real?" Like, yeah, you think there's people who you think there? any of that happened? <laughs> oh, you you go you go into your fridge, you grab a cold meal, you open your magic microwave, put it in there for twenty seconds, and it comes out hot. And you buy this? <laughs> Come on! Come on! I know the elves in your microwave switch it out That's when you're not looking. Well. Then why do you think <laughs> yeah. you have to put the cover back over it? Duh! Yeah. <laughs> so <you don't laughs> <see it working. laughs> I, yeah, I don't yeah. understand. We were just talking last week about how, like, we don't know, like, we personally don't know how, like, most of our technology works. Um, <laughs> no, any of it, man. Let's be real. <laughs> like, 99% of it. If I couldn't duplicate it with, like, a hammer and nails or pipe and glue, like, I, I don't get it. Like, like I, I can explain to you how a generator works, but I don't know. How to build it, yeah. No, no, no. I don't I don't know how that that electricity comes out. I, I don't quite f- understand that part. And and that's like the most simple of things. And, and like I get the general idea that you rotate a magnet or something inside an electrical field and that something makes electricity. But there's something in there missing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, where do I put the wires on the out and how do I get the light bulb? <laughs> yeah. like, we're stripping some electrons away from the air. I don't fuck like, like that sounds I, right. Where are we compiling all these electrons? And what is <laughs> like like if all these atoms are losing electrons, what's happening to them now? What are, what are they being turned into? They now? Just what kind of atoms are they now? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> they just they, be- they become stars. they become energy, right? Oh, well, okay. That's a that's a lot simpler than we thought. Then we just solved that one. I was asking. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> that, as a, that was a uh, that that was a statement you made. Not a not, not a <laughs> yeah. That's all right. <laughs> well, we just figured out how electricity works. How long did it take those ancients to do that? Idiots. I, I don't Idiots. know. I don't but know they how they got all those big rocks. Works. But yeah, they didn't know how generators work. They seem to do some pretty cool things with levers to make the pyramids. Mm. Oh, what you got some cool triangles? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. It's like uh, what's what's the secret behind this? this levers? You know, every no, time it's I slaves. Every... <laughs> <laughs> it's totally different. But have you ever been like researching a conspiracy or something wild for a video, and you're like, after a few hours, days, whatever, you're like. Oh, this is getting a little too real and wild. Not this one. Let's find yes. a different one. Yes. What what yes. are some yes. examples of that? If you can um, so the the one that really like did me in was I went really down all the Epstein stuff when that happened. Yes. Yeah. Um and this this was before like I did the YouTube stuff. I was just like, is it is it really that bad? And then I, I remember like getting legitimately depressed. I got Mm -hmm. so into that. I got so into looking where money was going. I got so into who owned these places, who like went where. I just got depressed because I'm like, man, it really is everyone, isn't it? (laughs) And that that, it was like, like people joke about like, oh, the black pill. I remember being like, wow, everyone is evil everywhere. That is so (laughs) sad. Um, uh, I remember like having to step away from that Mm -hmm. and just kind of take a moment to uh, like reevaluate myself. Yeah. Um, but like uh, I've come to peace with it now. Of, like you know, I'm my worth isn't reliant on those who have greater faculty or power above me or whatever. But man, yeah. I tell you what, that was sad. Um, that that would be the big one. Mm-hmm. There's been some other minor ones that I've like sort of like dabbled in. That I'm like, oh, I don't want to know how much more of this I want to find out about. One mm-hmm. one of them was the Benghazi stuff. I got really into that more recently, like in the past year. And I remember researching that and being like, this is depressing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> because it's not like I don't come up with the stuff like, aha, everyone who's in charge of us is evil people, whatever, and be like, I figured it out. It's just like, well, dang it. You're just telling it like it was. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. like, ah, man, uh, whatever. You're just I like, guess, I'll I'll go, didn't I'll know go there go were this many the pedophiles. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that, I guess I'm going to go walk in the woods now. So. That is Run funny. The like how the Epstein water thing. Real quick. I'll be right like back. When it, when it first came out, people were like, right. So there's just a bunch of pedophiles in positions of power all over the world. <laughs> and then you look into it and it's like, wow, there are pedophiles in positions of power all over the world. <laughs> I heard I heard that that was used to control each other. It was like that it was, oh, um, and I mean, I mean, you would probably have heard this at some point or something, but it was used as a means to control each other. Like you mm -hmm. are in the circle of trust because we have all committed this heinous, disgusting act. And so it is yeah. used as a means of controlling each other and, and committing to, the, to the, the, the team because you're all disgusting people. Yeah, yeah. Mutual blackmail. We had a similar uh, it's like, if, if we go down, you're coming with us. So you better do what we say. I remember um, where I'm originally, I live in Tennessee now, but I'm originally from like Eastern Kentucky, like in the coal country of it. And uh, there's a lot of gangs around, the, like before my time mainly, but like during my dad's time and all that, uh, the gangs or the Mount Mafia, as they were called, were real popular. Whenever they were breaking up picket lines and there were shootouts everywhere. And uh, part of the deal was whenever there were new initiates, they did a lot of stuff like blew up bridges, blew up coal trucks, stuff like that. Um, if they were to ever like shoot something or blow it up, they would find some way for everyone's hand to be on it. Like mm -hmm. if you show up, you are going to shoot the vehicle or you're going to uh, have some part in place in it because the yeah. first time you have to be like mutual blackmail and that yeah. just scales up. So like for a bunch of guys in the mount, it's shooting up a coal truck for like, you know, Hillary Clinton, it's eating a baby. It just, it's yeah. just a natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's wild. It, it's the, the world is like, like I, I, I'm not nearly as into weird it as timeline, you, but like it gets depressing when you like look into it, some it stuff does. where yeah. it's like, oh man, people are genuinely very cruel to one another, and that makes me sad. <laughs> I remember I used to be like, like in high school, I was, uh, uh, I think I got like most likely to be present some superlative, and I was on a bunch of debate teams and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and I was like really into politics, and then that happened, and I just like. I was like, I'd never want to look at someone in a suit ever again. <laughs> like it, just, it, it, re it really did poison me to a point of bitterness for a while. Uh, like I said, I'm better now. But yeah, you you asked like, what was the one that hit too deep? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one really hit too deep. Yeah, it makes sense. That's a that's a good answer. I was expecting something like that, like where you just get. It's like a. You, you stare too long into the abyss and it begins to stare back into you. You spend mm -hmm. all this time obsessing about and, and reading about something that is horrific. And then you start to be like, man, little, little bits of my soul are like flaking off as I'm reading this. Like I'm becoming actively more cynical by. There's by also this. this, like, not just with that specifically, but with a lot of like grander conspiracy, like stuff like the MLK assassination or JFK or whatever. There's this sense of um, hopelessness or like just inabil in inability of action. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what am I going to do? Catch these guys or no matter how many people I tell, it's not going to get better. Right. Yeah. And that leads to a sort of I guess it can lead to nihilism if someone sits in it for too long. Um, mm. But it, like I said, it's just got to be something that you kind of recognize it it doesn't define you just because it's happening and you can't do anything about it uh you're not your inactions uh but yeah i had I, literally i had an entire soul searching thing over the epstein stuff yeah. so. <laughs> are you are you still like following any of the galane stuff uh as that was going on yeah um i've got my own theories about all that i don't it, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like a train wreck, but the train wreck's halfway done. Like, you mm -hmm. know, like the, fir the front car hit and everything crashed. And it's not like, well, I hope the back of the train will stop doing that. No, it's just going to keep mm -hmm. <laughs> filing up over and over. Um, I, I, I kept up with it, but not as much as I did originally. Because like I said, you can't, or at least I can't super invest my time like man i hope justice is served because i i know the answer and it's just going to make me sad again <laughs> yeah it's not going to be served and every <laughs> like, it's funny like 
at first, like so many people were like, oh, this isn't happening. They're, they're not, there's no pedophile island. And then now, like some of those same people are like, we got them. The one, the two people, <laughs> the two people on earth who were doing this, we got them. Don't worry, guys. This was a one off. It's never going to happen again. It's certainly not happening with other individuals as we speak right now. We got them, everyone. Mission accomplished. It's like, you know, it's, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's literally like, like did, Bush on that, on it, that guys. fucking destroyer. There are two we got people. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were, that thing we said was a conspiracy lie for years was true. Thankfully, the only two individuals globally involved in this have been caught. One of them killing himself when a camera misfired and a bunch of people who didn't work there found their way into his fucking cell. What if that's Man. the way they said he died? That his camera, the camera that was recording him exploded and killed him. <laughs> That'd be a little bit more obvious. He was electrocuted <laughs> yeah. by the camera. Oh, do we have that on film? Well, think about that one. <laughs> Why are you asking tough questions? All right. The conspiracy would be a little terrible. more obvious. He, 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 he was a terrible camera person at, at hanging himself. Hanging himself and bruising and breaking that many ribs. Like, <laughs> I mean, what, I had he know. never done it before? Well, the guy who ended up doing it, at least according to McAfee, before he also CO'd himself. Okay. Um, okay. That, guy's a, that guy was a well, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got an okay from Kyle. Go ahead. What was that? Well, I mean... All right, Mac, if he was a, was a he, he was on the show on our show. No, 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 no. He's a goop. I, I didn't know that he was on the show. That's interesting. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that he uh, was murdered. I do think that he did commit suicide. He I did. Wasn't yeah, yeah. Being sarcastic, I wasn't being sarcastic yeah. on that one. I literally meant he did see out of himself. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about the guy that McAfee tweeted and was like, "This is the guy in the jail," which he was right. The dude who was a former cop in New York was the one. It was you remember how uh epstein was like almost strangled a week before he died yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that guy did get like moved and separated and all that but then they kept him in the same jail and like on the same cell block or whatever and he was a couple cells down whenever the cameras went out mm -hmm. and like the room that epstein died in was previously that guy's room so it's like oh of course it's gonna have dna and fingerprints and you know blood and whatever all over the place um yeah, just you got, I, I went down the rabbit hole and stuff like that. It really Jesus, it hurt yeah. a lot. Yeah. Like this is something like one of the conspiracy rabbit holes. Like I keep trying to go down, but I can't find anything good for it. So like Antarctica, what the mm. fuck is going on down there? And why, I, I if you so like there there are military bases down there. Like okay. lots of countries have military bases down there. And if you show up in Antarctica, they will kill you. They will shoot you in the head. They'll like as you're like if you just start if you just take a boat to Antarctica, get off and start walking around, they will kill you. Like you I didn't know I did not know about this. Yeah. I didn't know about this at all, and I was Are like, you, oh, I, what the fuck? What's going on? Is now? that first of all? Did you get that from a good source? I, I didn't know that. Is that true? Yeah, it came to me in a dream. I, <laughs> <laughs> He's got my vote. Now I know. It, uh, That'd be the worst it, source I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's like no, there, there's like this is like not like I saw some like the the conspiratorial part is like oh there's a something under the ice out there and there's like an underground uh, civilization or the remains of Atlantis that kind of thing or whatever maybe not Atlantis maybe I'm making that up maybe but like the part that's not really debated is like yeah you cannot go to Antarctica like you can't go there you they'll they'll shoot you yeah so uh, I've heard of people uh, I, I don't know if it's immediately they just <laughs> execute you from what I've heard they're like leave get off um because you can't privately make your way to antarctica uh because there's like it, there's some weird treaty with antarctica it's called the i forget the word for it essentially no nation can place ownership over it or mm -hmm. like it's all uh, scientific no research place effect yeah it's all scientific research but which I is the reason that law that, they but that implies there's no law there technically so I, I think they're gonna have a hard time arresting me under any real I, powers. Yeah, I, maybe I, I maritime don't, I don't, law is maritime i don't law think it's law? illegal I think it's a very gray area. They're just like get out, essentially. They consider me a pirate uh, if I like grab my uh, my retarded Malamute and started sledding deep into the, <laughs> the Antarctic <laughs> center. Uh, you and wouldn't be sledding deep. <laughs> Look, he's a big boy. That's God damn it, he, he is dig. strong. He has the power of three normal dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's he has three no dog loud, power. No loud noises though. Um, so the conspiracy around Antarctica begins with World War II. <laughs> 
there <laughs> there uh, was a German research base in Antarctica called Camp something rather I forget, but some number designation. Anyway, after the war was over in 1947, they sent a admiral by the name of Admiral Byrd to Antarctica in something called Operation High Jump where he was sent with, I think, 20 men total to just like reconnoiter, investigate whatever the Germans were doing down there to uh, check out their facilities. And whenever they got back, uh, they were all given a gag order and the Medal of Honor. Um, and that that's it. <laughs> so They were, they were all for, given a gag order and the Medal of Honor? All of them were given the Medal of Honor? The, they, were, they were placed on like a 48-hour debrief, if I recall correctly. They were ordered to never speak about what they found, which that part's, you know, probably pretty standard to yeah. most, you know, military reconnoiter order yeah, operations. I think you did. I think what? they stopped Hitler from being able to acquire alien technology down there. And they they brought it home. Now we're on the right path. I, I, don't, I don't think I don't think Hitler. <laughs> I think Hitler was down there. Get I so so my made favorite Antarctica. My favorite conspiracy theory, the ones that, the one that I crave to be real, is the ancient civilizations one. The one, and and when they lay out the timeline of the Earth's life, you're like, oh shit, this this one does kind of make a bit of sense, right? Like Atlantis, because we, they're like, yeah, we've only been here for such a short period of time, like our civilization, like the last six thousand years that we've actually recorded and can remember more or less. And the the planet's been habitable, and we've been humans like we are for for a very long time. Like we could have easily peaked and like been like pyramid building, and then lost that for. And then fifty thousand years went by. We went. We resorted back to like hunter gathering people who don't even understand agriculture. And then we could have done it three or four times in the amount of time there there is. There's just no evidence for it, right? And and so that's when you got to look to places like. Like maybe Antarctica, maybe like like wasn't that a tropical place a long, long time ago? Probably predating hum, um, humans, but I know at some point it was like maybe close yeah, to where all Australia that shit, is. Over like enough millions of years, all that shit's cyclical, right? With like because well, like the, the well, you had Pangea or something, something, right? Where everything was one giant megacontinent and then it broke up. But for yeah. a long time, I think Antarctica was more of a <clears> tropical <throat> thing, like like in the Australia area ish. If there was something that like changed in elevation, we would have found that under the seas by now. Or no, because I guess that we we really haven't been. I don't think we've we charted the everything. seas very well. Uh, what do you mean by change in elevation? Like if there was like if it was like oh there was this uh, Atlantis. Uh, that's the only one I know, so I keep saying Atlantis. Oh, it used to be here, and then the water levels changed a million years ago, and now so it's that, deep under the sea or something. That's actually fairly common. Um, not just in like ancient civilizations, like the Greek city of. Man, I, I know all this stuff until I'm asked about it. There was a Greek <laughs> city near the coast uh, that was like this sprawling um, uh, landscape that was flooded in, I forget when, that's supposedly the inspiration for stories of Atlantis. Uh, there's also one off the coast of, mm. what's the country that gets hit by tsunamis all the time? It's not Japan, Southeast Asia. Indonesia? I think Indonesia. Um, there was a city that was built in like the 12, 1300s that had gone completely underwater. And what was wild is a couple of years ago when they got hit with their last tsunami, this place has been underwater for hundreds of years. When the water drew back before the wave for the first time, the entire city, like this underwater city with these statues and buildings, the footage of it's wild. That's really uh, cool. The people, I'm the people who took the that. footage were having a terrible time. <laughs> but <laughs> I, uh, I really like the idea of ancient forgotten technologies that might differ from cool. ours greatly enough that that they would be cool and interesting and maybe something could be discoverable. I think that Baghdad battery shit is bullshit. I don't give a goddamn. It's just, it, it, it was probably a it was probably a sex toy. They were putting that thing on somebody's clit to like. I don't, make it I don't know what that is. Your bag, uh, they they, bad they found these like primitive like uh, makeshift batteries. It's like a clay pot with um. I think you got like an ass an acidic solution and maybe a copper tube or something like that. And and maybe there's another metal that's involved. But in any case, it's it it could form an ancient battery. You could make an electrical charge. And uh, but but they're not powering laptops back then with that thing. They're they're, they're fucking like sticking their dicks in it because it feels. Yeah, weird. they're they're shocking each other for fun. Yeah, I I. I that's probably like an uh, a, a, I could imagine a a religious ritual where they use science to like reinforce religion the way that uh, remember in um, what's that awesome Mel Gibson movie um, the, the Apocalypto when the yeah. they know the eclipse is coming and the priest kind of looks over at the head honcho like yeah it's coming and and by priest he's like an he's an, he's an astronomer 
like from a thousand years ago. And he's just like, here it comes. And so the king is like, bah, 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 bah. the sun disappears. And they're like, holy shit, the boss. Made the sun. <laughs> and then he's like, and come back. Like as soon as the priest gives him the go ahead nod for that. And it's like, you can imagine how you're going to get in line for a man who does something like that. Like, like a guy who can make the sun like, like, like yeah. disappear and come back. Mm-hmm. The, oh yeah. If, like, that's magic. Someone knowing that 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 the sun is going, they wouldn't even think of it that way. They'd never take that extra leap, like because how could you know it was coming, right? Unless you understood astronomy. Yeah. No, I like that a lot. So I like was, the idea of lost civilizations and, uh, uh-huh. and and that stuff just being eaten by the the you know the the um, the, the ravages of time. Well, yeah the um, the way the the Earth's crust goes under <laughs> itself and just gets eaten over and over until there's there's no it's just gone. It's just gone. It is wild to think about like uh, buried cities. Like we build civilization on top of civilization and think of like mm-hmm. everything that's uh, sunk underneath concepts of sunken cities from like old uh, lore, not like in the ocean, like the land gave way and there's these underground caverns. Well, there's that thing in Go- Have you seen the thing, um, the Graham Hancock stuff about the, the Gobleki Tepe uh, uh, place in Turkey? I've heard of it and it's supposed to be like a super old civilization or some people yeah, theorize he, he, that. Yeah, that 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 Graham Hancock guy. He's been on Rogan a bunch of times. I I, I read his books; they're good. But he thinks that uh, a comet came and uh, melted a gigantic, like flash melted a huge ice cap and mm. flooded out this ancient civilization that existed like ten or twenty thousand years ago in Turkey. That because and they found this huge, um, you know, structure that was built there, and people should have been like hunter gatherers with stone tools back then, and instead you you would have had to have like a civilization because somebody's got to be hunting and gathering to get ec- extra food so that you can have mm-hmm. artisans who could even make something you mm-hmm. know like that and supposedly yeah, you kind we of need anything. agriculture so that's that's an interesting one um i don't know I, I like that stuff a lot i like i like lost mysteries and uh, oh yeah. the other one i really like is uh the idea of life being on one of the uh the moons of um saturn or jupiter maybe like under the yeah ice. the uh uh what's the one everyone says is super habitable Titan, maybe? Uh, I think Titan. Uh, Europa? That sounds right. Uh, there's a movie about Europa, or, yeah. What, what is it called? Is that is that? Jupiter I think it's Titan. Something? Titan? I think Titan's the one everyone says that, like, it's almost habitable. I don't um, want to live on any of them. And no, 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 no. And then, it's it's a couple kilometers of ice at least, and then and then, but then you've got a warm yeah, that's ocean. habitable. But, but yeah. you've got a warm ocean down briefly. There. Yeah. And, and I think that, I think anything's I think habitable for yeah. small amounts <laughs> of time. Very briefly. I, I think that like the most ambitious scientists think that there's probably be like some amoebas or some like bacteria down there that feeds off yeah. of uh, thermal activity. But nah, I really want ocean there to monsters. Be, I don't give I a shit about that. Like I need mermaids. I need something yeah. with hands for me to really care. Like, like an ent- something like, that made tools. If I get there and the fish has hands, I'm going back. I'm yeah. not, not <laughs> well, it just, that would just confirm. It's like, oh, so somebody had a nuclear apocalypse here a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and now all the fish are peeling their kelp. Yeah, I, I couldn't think of anything they would do with hands. It seems like a bad idea. But um, I've been looking at a bunch of like weird sci-fi. I wanted a new sci-fi book, so I've been watching YouTube videos about various like sci-fi or- authors. And I, it might be an Isaac Asimov. I don't know who, who wrote this one, but the premise is that aliens come to Earth and they just sort of like hover over us. And there are, we do try to attack them, but it like bounces off and they're like, chill. Listen, we're here to help. Um, our boss has sent us here to get you guys up to speed. You're going to join the Galactic Federation. You can't look at us, though. We're rough looking. OK, we're going we, we're to hang out here for a while. When you get used to us, you know, our ships and then communicating with us, then we'll reveal ourselves. And that goes on for like many years, like 10, 20, I don't know how many, like th- call it 10, 15 years. And sure enough, they've really enriched humanity lately. Technology's better, culture's better, everything's better. And, uh, and they're like, all right, it's, it, it's time. Chill though, right? And they like step out of their craft and they literally look like the devil. <laughs> they literally look like the <laughs> devil, like horns and pointy tails and like, like pointy teeth and claws. But they're, they, there's no twist at the end. They're just nice. They're, they, they really are these like ambivalent, nice people. They're like, don't be scared. We know that 
a lot of people get scared of us and all. Um, <laughs> I'm Mark. <laughs> <laughs> this is my 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 husband, Alan. And it's like, oh, they're positive. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. yeah. no, I, I, I've, I've been looking for a new one to to, to read. Uh, it's that or Hell Divers. I, I'm, I kind of want to go back to the Hell Divers series. What's Hell Divers? That. Oh, that's, oh, that's the one where that's the yeah the ever the average life is ten jumps and this guy's on jump ninety five and he's hard yeah. ass. I remember yeah, that. the Earth's all poisoned and we live in the sky on a hover ship. Uh, yeah, th- th- those books are fun. I want to read a book about Antarctica. I don't care if it is a hundred percent whole cloth made up. Like I just, I just fun. like it, it it's a fun, fun story. Yeah, just start off with something kind of fun where it's like the Nazis left and then and then just make it up. Yep. Just, yep. Just, who just, cares? Have, just have a good time. That's all that yeah. matters. That's what matters uh, in was, all these theories that you're having a fun time. <laughs> exactly. The, the funnest part about it is uh, there was a second Operation High Jump, if I remember, like in the 60s or the 70s, um, when a group supposedly went to Antarctica. One of the funnest theories is that they took cameras there and had like like this broken footage of like plant life they discovered and like a civilization of people under the ice. Love it. Fantastic. I believe it. <laughs> Don't oh, need yeah. any further information. I want I'm to sure. believe all it. living under the ice. I want to them. Because, them. because, because our, I, shop. Our, our existence is, is a little boring at times, right? Like, you know, like, like the stuff that happens in movies is so dynamic and big and earth changing and nothing really big has ever happened in our lifetimes. Not really. Like, like, like even to us, it doesn't feel real, you know, but I want something that's so big that even if you're not touched by it, it feels big. Like, like I want to discover some aliens or, or 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 do a thing, right? Seems like it have to be aliens, right? Like, what else I could want, it be? I do want, or or one of those lost civilizations. I want to find some mole yeah, cool. people under Antarctica, and they've been under okay. there for like eighty thousand years, like, like, and and their technology is way better than ours, or way and worse. I'm fine with that but too. they're mole people, so <laughs> we just beat the fuck out of them. Like, like I can't wait to like, kill it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the aliens kill, show like, up yeah, and they're like peddling. And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite videos to research and watch? Is it the conspiracy angles or is it the creepy stuff? I'm sure there's a so, good bit of fusion there. Oh, yeah, there mm-hmm. there is. Um, it depends on like what the video is specifically. Like, for example, some of the stuff with like my main conspiracy theory, mainline series, some of it can get a little bogged down because a lot of it is similar. And sometimes your evidence is a 4chan post from 2014. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah. That's how I make a lot like, of beliefs. Ah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hear a lot of religions are starting that way. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the stuff like that is like very hit or miss if I like it or not. Now, like the video that I'm editing right now that should be up in the next couple of days is about the MLK assassination, and oh, that kind mm. of stuff is like my stuff. Like reading like the logs and court reports, love that kind of thing. Um, I also love reviewing like online horror series, like ARG stuff, um, mm-hmm. just because I think it's really cool to put together this giant puzzle and see how everything fits. Um, and but, but yeah, like I, I really, I always say in my videos that I only talk about stuff I like talking about, and yeah. that's been true so far. I'm I'm very happy that I can make stuff I'm happy about and have this kind of success with it. What's uh beautiful? So what's the deal with Thank MLK? You. Was it the CIA? They, yeah. when something uh, fucked up happens i always assume cia <laughs> oh brother uh it, it was a million and ten percent the cia <laughs> like, not even a question um so much so that the king family also believes it was and they spent the last three years of james earl ray the alleged shooter they mm-hmm. spent the last three years of his life trying to get him out of jail uh because the family thought he was innocent wow In 19 19- yeah, in um, 1999, that. in Shelby County, Tennessee, the King family sued the United States government, specifically through an agent. Uh, and the specific one that did the suing was Martin Luther King's wife. Uh, they sued the government for conspiracy to commit wrongful death and won. So in a civil what? court, they officially, yeah, in a civil court, they officially decided the government did kill MLK. I so. never even knew that, man. Yeah, yeah, that's that yeah. is wild, <laughs> and like and like that's that's not even news, like no, like, wow, just, yeah, I had yeah, no idea. <laughs> that's not common knowledge, as far as I know. People are like, uh, yeah, like, but if you told someone, like, did you know that MLK was killed by the CIA? Like, I feel like a lot of people would be, be like, like, oh, yeah. he's one of those guys. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're like, like yeah, <laughs> put up the tinfoil hat or whatever. Yeah. Oh, Meanwhile, I mean, it was but, like the King family who did the research and got it and all that, which is like, it, it, there's 
I mean, I don't think I have to tell you guys that some mm-hmm. information is chosen to be fed while others is not. Uh, yeah, of course. And stuff that has to do with like a distrust of the state mm-hmm. tends to be on the don't show as much. Who was side. a mm-hmm. who was the guy who went to prison for shooting him? Okay, was that like Mark David who, James Earl guy? Ray? James Earl Ray. James they always Ray. have three fucking. Mark David Chapman so, was John yeah. Lennon. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um. So so what? So the civil court thing decided that. Well, and in civil court, did they ever bring up that you know there's a guy sitting in prison for this murder and blah 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 well so he died in 1998 and the civil court was in 1999 so it was more so exonerating (laughs) that sucks was he retroactively exonerated just in the nick of time by civil court yes in official court no because double jeopardy and all that stuff he was already Mm -hmm. accused of it um but like (laughs) man i tell you like i went into the mlk video like oh the fbi killed mlk and then i did the research it was like oh my gosh <laughs> they destroyed that <laughs> you're man. like this wow. is way too obvious they didn't even try to cover it they didn't yeah. like there was uh one witness who saw james Earl ray there and 74 who saw a different man there <laughs> and they went with <laughs> the one guy they went with the one guy, agent, plant. you know, yeah. <laughs> Steve yeah. Well, that, so that one guy who saw him was actually uh, in a drunk stupor at the time. And then during an interview with ABC, the um, journalist held up a picture of James Earl Ray. And the guy goes, who's that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, he, and the reporter goes, that's James Earl Ray. And he goes, oh, yeah, I, I mean, but that's not really the guy who i saw but i mean maybe from the back it's, it's the only way to like bail like... yourself out of that is like oh man he's gained a lot of weight <laughs> 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 clearly the stress of being a murderer <laughs> his, weight on him. his hair fell out and everything i'm, I'm like the uh, like like th- my, that's my totally my bias is like if i hear something that's like you know something fucked up the fbi or the cia did i'm like you don't even have to explain it i believe you yeah i used to not be like that but if, once like, upon they, a time yeah, if they came out and they were like cia stops hunger in nigeria like poor village i'd be like no 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 <laughs> what's that village got to hide huh yeah, yeah. That village? Village maybe nigeria is not even real i've never been <laughs> you guys know the last things about the mlk assassination that didn't have to do with the conspiracy mm. so uh jesse jackson was with him the day of the assassination as a matter of fact um King was hanging over a balcony talking to Jackson in the parking lot below whenever he was shot. Immediately, Jesse Jackson ran to the news and he was wearing a sweater covered in blood and said that he was holding MLK as he was dying. And that's what Mm -hmm. the blood on the sweater is. Every single person who was there that day said what actually happened is MLK got shot and Jesse Jackson ran off and the rest of them stayed there with him. And Jesse Jackson went somewhere, put fake blood on himself, and then went to the news <laughs> so he could get the attention for it. He like tried to pull his own like what? juicy smallet thing. Well, yeah, basically, in, yeah, pretty much. Uh, in research for it, MLK had a lot of problems with Jackson because every time they would go to a rally or protest, he would like aggravate it or like get it as a mm. problem. There was one instance. I think it was it was some city up north um, where. King was giving a speech and he was talking about nonviolence and the police show up and Jackson's immediately like, all right, guys, it's time, time to fight, make a wall and like make this, <laughs> this whole violent protest. Yeah, like rabble rousing. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, right, yeah. And he was like, there's a bunch of accusations. He was trying to take the spotlight. Um, and it was specifically King's brother who was furious at him for going to the news in a fake bloody sweater. I can being imagine. like, oh man, he died in my arms. Yeah. Dude, Dude, it, it really, really went to- to- tremendously I, narcissistic thing to do like mlk yeah. dies and it's like but how am i gonna get positive attention <laughs> how do i want to be remembered in history you want to remember is what about me <laughs> uh, i would hit him up all the time i'd be like yo that was super weird <laughs> next year the next no, year, i'd be like yo you remember weird. last year one brother died and you did that whole thing super weird i never want you to forget how fucking weird <laughs> like, that was like, we all think you're weird all the people i talk to all my homies think you're weird yo that was i weird. just got to know i just got to know where did you get the blood 
And why yeah, does MLK, where MLK, MLK, have, why did MLK have acrylic based blood? <laughs> you came up like... with a liter of fake blood in like eight minutes in Alabama on a Thursday afternoon. I've got to know more. You just like I've got to grab know. the bird, grab the bird, pop its head off like a bottle. Of I have children, goddamn it. I can't allow you around them until I know where you got the blood. Where did you get the blood? <laughs> you can't come around my kids. You have to know. Fine, I got it from Sean Williams. Get off my ass. Oh, oh. Well, oh, okay, well, in that case, you can come around <laughs> again. Fine. Fine. No, I, I, I don't know anything about that conspiracy, um, about the MLK thing. But I do know that, uh, you know, they were surveilling him and recording him and stuff. And uh, they had that, like, salacious audio of him having sex with his wife. And uh, they, were, they were trying to use that against him. He's like, I don't care. Yeah. I, I, He's like, I'm married, I, bro. They, yeah. Uh, they wrote him a letter to try to get him to kill himself. Uh, yeah. Where the FBI posed as like a member, like uh, I think it was a black teen who was like a fan mm-hmm. of him, and I was like, "Man, you should you should probably kill yourself before this goes public." <laughs> like, wow. okay. the first Jesus the first Christ. troll comment existed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> on yeah, paper, the first one in all history, probably not, but yeah. the first YouTube. <laughs> you know, you know YouTube it's wild. Uh, whenever I was going through research for it, the one. Th- the like first detail I got to that made me be like, there's, there's no way. And then sure enough, it was real. Uh, the gun, it was a Remington 760 uh, in 30 out six. The gun that had raised fingerprints on it was never matched ballistically to the bullet that killed King. Uh, they tried what it over the and over. Fuck, man. And, yeah. And the best that they could uh, determine is that um, it was the same model, probably, because the rifling patterns within the barrel were similar. They're like, yeah, we can't mm-hmm. exactly determine this is the same rifle that did it, uh, but it's it's probably close enough. <laughs> Are you scared close at night? Enough? Are you scared at night oh, you're on muted. a list or something? <laughs> no, yeah, no, there is. Um, no. <laughs> you're not worried that you're on a list. I'm on a list. Oh, I know. I, I, no, oh, I know for a fact I'm on a list. Uh, Kyle's but probably I on a list. Like, I know, Cal's on several lists. They made me sign they, up for the list. I, they were like, yeah. "All right, this is for the list," and they like scanned my like face and took my DNA. Like, like, yeah, I'm on a list. <laughs> I, th- I think uh, we're all Kyle on list. And I share, not that well, one, but I think we share list. a few lists. <laughs> Dairy farmers are really are very powerful, and like muscle milk here is muscle MLK. R.I.P. It doesn't have an eye in it. It literally doesn't have an eye in it. It wraps around. It, wraps it says muscle milk. Uh, I have a dream that we're all going to get so fucking jacked we can fight the republic. Muscle milk. I have a dream that I can hit my macros in a convenient way at gas stations and convenience stores. Muscle milk. They can't call it. They can't call it milk here. So it literally says muscle milk, but there's no eye in the milk. I want to see a muscle MLK like Photoshop so goddamn bad. I want to see him ripped. I want to see him like on Ronnie Coleman's body. That's what I want. I want MLK on Ronnie Coleman's body. Make it happen. I'm sure that muscle MLK. I like that. Absolutely. It's out there. You're going to get MLK on that black guy's body. You know which one I'm talking about sitting on the side of the bed. Oh, that exists. OG Mudbone. Yeah. Isn't that guy dead? Yes. I don't know. Is he? Not with Photoshop. Like, hearing he's something not about him. Um, I remember, I remember... something about him how I... like he needed the money and uh, and he had to like pose for those photos for to like help someone in his too, life. Yeah. Uh, like like somebody was like mm. maybe health issues or whatever. Like someone needed money and so he posed for those photos and he regrets it. Regretted mm. it apparently. Oh well, that's yeah. sad. Photoshop. Thanks, Kyle. Now it's complicated. Yeah, now we're human traffickers when you deal with that. Now deal with that. Yeah, I just like they're like they're like he. She's dying. We need you. We need your gigantic cock right now. We need you, Muslim. If there was ever a time that the world needs your humongous hanging dick, it's right now. It's now. Just sit there and look regal, because we're going to put MLK's face on you. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it respectable. If I haven't seen it, it's not there. Australia looking at you. Not looking at you. <laughs> yeah. Finland. Isn't isn't that the conspiracy that Finland isn't real? Oh, I thought that it was Finland Australia. Exist, yeah. Oh, I thought it was the, Australia. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, it's far, it started with. Come from? You got me there. <laughs> Wait, where no, he, like no, he's from? right. Trust me, I'm an expert. He, he knows what he's talking. Just listen to everything Kyle says about alligators and crocodiles. He knows the uh, the, fin- the Finland thing. You've heard of that, Isaiah, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's part of something called the Blyfeld uh, conspiracy. Blyfeld is a region 
I want to say England, but it may be France, uh, somewhere Central Europe, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's a small city that not a lot of people lived in, and it became a joke on like European television or whatever that Blyfeld just isn't real. And the okay. argument for it was, well, have you ever met anyone from Blyfeld? That's what I thought, so it's not mm -hmm. there. Uh, so people just kept rolling with that until eventually Finland doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> it just I mean, spread. There's only a it's few. Just, of yeah, them. it got bigger. You're you're really right. Um, I saw this whole like breakdown someone did of it that the world like demographics charts and stuff are always <laughs> right within a percentile. So like mm. it could be off by one percent of the population or whatever. And Finland makes up point I think six percent of the world's population, meaning that Finland could be a statistical error. Probably effectively <laughs> don't exist. <laughs> when you exactly, for yeah. error they effectively do not exist. <laughs> those, That's lame. Those are, those are like uh, I've always thought like those kind of countries are the best ones to live in. Like the really nice countries that fly under the radar. Nobody hates on Norway. Nobody hates on Finland. Like nah. they're not important enough. Whereas the U.S., yeah, it's nice to live here, but everybody's always shitting all over us for, for all the horrible things we do to other countries needlessly. America be like godzilla in other countries with their dick. In other countries, they're just, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What are you doing here? But, you know, the Norwegians, they're over there like, what up? We're chilling. Yeah. we're just hanging out in norway just being norwegian and shit man it's kind of cold yeah. but we're posted up you know we're too busy yeah. destabilizing south american nations to to do that yeah. <laughs> we, we're not, they don't and they, and, and you get over to norway and they don't have mustard or something something weird you know there's no ketchup it's like the little details that are completely gone you're like chocolate chip cookie and they're like what the no. what now? <laughs> what the back to America. Do, do you mean a baked fish pie? Or Canada. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh, get me out of here. I like that all like the difference are snack food related. And meanwhile, like, like Harley, you would show up there and you're like, fuck, being average height is terrible. I'm going back to yeah. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't I be like tall and fat there. I would just be fat. advantage. Look at this. Look at that normal heighted fat man. Like, <laughs> is what they would say. <laughs> That's the biggest Jew I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they would. <laughs> I'm colored. I'm colored. That's there. where I was going too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, the rare Jew. <laughs> Get a picture with him, kids. <laughs> no, I would just be. I would just be. I wouldn't be even be like uh, like Jewish undercover there. I would just be fully like colored person. Yeah, like I'm my <laughs> like, just... Yeah, That's something I... I wanted to talk to Wendy Goon about. Oh. We can oh. jump in with that. So, I've I've I know from your channel you you're very interested in these mystical woodland creatures and things. Very not just woodland all mm. over the place. Of in all fact, those yes. you've researched, do any of them at all like? trigger a thought in your mind to be like this would be real or are you mostly at the end of it like ah, so, i can't buy in i i do think that there is a large case for a lot of like ocean creatures for one right so i'm going to leave those out of it because that's cheating right okay mm, um okay. as far as like so I, i'm from eastern tennessee right so mm -hmm. I spend a lot of the time in the woods do a lot of camping and there's some there's some weird stuff that goes down you just don't explain like just some some noises, some carcasses you find that you're like, this is uh, not right. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also like, you know, a Christian, a Sunday school teacher. So I also have the thought in my head, like, maybe it's just a demon. That makes me feel better for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if there is any like supernatural or cryptid, so to speak, creature that would exist, I would probably say it would be in line with a lot of mythologies that go along the lines of like the rake or something like that. And I don't think maybe any one specific one of them is real, just maybe like some kind of creature that's unaccounted for, just something yeah. that isn't quite on the record yet. Sure. Um, it, it's, it's not an entirely out there, like, you know, Bigfoot with antlers and giant wings, as much as I love the Mothman, probably mm -hmm. not. Um, <laughs> but just something that we're not entirely aware of yet. That, make, that makes yeah. some noise at night that we yeah. don't pay attention to. Yeah. Well, that's totally I, I'm, believable. I'm also like, I also lean toward that, not like the biblical demon, which is a fucking corrupted angel of the Lord, <clears> but like the idea of some sort of like, I don't know, other dimensional fucking weird being that's kind of here, but not really. And like, uh -huh. 
maybe sometimes it influences our world in some weird way, even if it's just being a cold spot or screaming real loud in the woods. An in betweener, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I've never seen or heard anything that 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 I couldn't explain with my ears or eyes one way or another. Um, you know, I, I remember when we were on our little uh survival trip that time with you, you myself and Chiz and Patrick, our cam man, and uh we heard some people way in the distance being si- I'm gonna say they were being silly and partying by a fire because that's not terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because what we heard was Wee! it sounded like there might be some deliverance shit going down, you know, yeah. like, like, like they just had like fuck the guy or something. Or like, a demon ritual of sorts. You, you never know, but it was so far away, but we're in like a some silent Bohemian forest. All shit. you hear is crickets and, you know, all the forest life and, and, and quietness. So like a person's voice in those, those hills, those mountains carry so far, but it was scary. It was, I was glad we had guns. I, I was like, yeah, I'm not worried about it at all. We've got, fucking guns i kind of hope they come over here and start some shit <laughs> actually <laughs> let's go see what they're yelling about <laughs> you, you better hope that, it, uh, you gotta... <laughs> that it's like a physical being your guns are going to be nothing against demons well then we've got a cameraman we're all millionaires now we're the first gu- first ghost hunters to actually find a ghost the reason that they, no, if medals if, are going to be on us like soviet commanders it's going to be nuts if we the only we thing we know ghost, the only thing we know for sure about ghosts is that if you like see one verifiably, like they probably are going to kill you, right? No, There'd be a lot more Woody's people Gamer with better stories. We're the first men to beat up a ghost in the forest mm-hmm. of Georgia, and, and our boy Patrick filmed it. We're cutting shiz out of this. It's a union thing. Me and Woody, <laughs> fucking Woody took the fucking he took his tent flap, his rain his rain guard, and choked the fucking ghost out. There was so much cosmic energy imbued in it from his anger earlier that day that he could he could choke a phantom with it. That and makes he, sense. Yeah. And we take a we take a True. phantasm like, like prisoner. We'd be the first guy. So I have no fear of a phantasm or ghost. I, I I would love to die that way if someone records it. It'd be cool. That's how I'd love to die. It would be cool. I'd like ghost to be attack? taken out a long time from now like at 91 I've, there's no way i'm making it to 90 at 71 <laughs> here's the thing at, i think people that are our age we still do that thing where 70 is so goddamn old but every day 70 gets younger if that makes sense like like the people who will be seven 70 year olds today are way better help health wise than 70 year olds 10 years ago and on and on and on and on and on, right? Like, there's a reason that like, like we keep living. Yeah, of course. So we were getting fatter at a faster rate than all that. But the healthcare system, like, like the life expectancy keeps going up. Has it gone? It hasn't started going down, has it? It's always. It I think we, we've never been like well, that. COVID great doesn't count with uh, okay. compared to like a lot of Europe. That'd be like if a bomb right? went off, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah goes right. down. Okay. <laughs> it did. But I don't think Europe. Has, yeah, Europe doesn't have longer <laughs> life expectancy because they have like way better. Well, they do have better better medical care than us. But I think it's mostly that they're not all big fat fucks. Like uh, way lower. Think about all the problems that being obese cause, and then like make a population like ours that's super fucking mega obese. It's gonna be. It's gonna super cause super fucking it. mega obese. Just it's a lot of obese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, just saying that obese. by the time you're, what I was getting at is, yeah. Why can't like, they the... just be a normal guy who's class one obese? <laughs> like, <laughs> but when you're 70 Stage that will be a very least. different 70 probably than the 70 you picture like yeah you're how old are you me 31 40 years from now we're talking about like 2060 something like 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 that is a long time uh, yeah, from yeah. now like, like I, I feel like we've got the spaceships then right like we're on mars and our and our mars cars like it's 70 right like we'll get to see it then they won't let us I, go up there but our, our your grandkids will get to go. Twenty sixty, Kyle will and have maybe one of my dogs. <laughs> we'll <rely laughs> one of my dogs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Isaiah, I wanted to ask you what what are the conspiracies? I'm you've done so many. I'm sure there's multiple that you went into in your research, being like, "This is the silliest thing. It's going to be funny." And then as you're going, you're like, "No, it can't be real. This can't <laughs> be a real." Thing. Like, were, were there any like that that like by That's the end you're questions. like, damn, I bamboozled myself here. Mm-hmm. So I would say the biggest one um, that I really entered with like the whole, <laughs> I'm going to make fun of this yeah. thing on the internet. Um, and now I'm legitimately scared of it is the concept of fractalization. 
uh, specifically, Fractal- which I think fractalization. Fract- fractalization. So Kyle pro- has more experience with this kind of thing than I do, but specifically <laughs> with uh, that look, <laughs> Kyle's face. Specifically with hallucinogenics <laughs> and uh, things like LSD and all of that. People mm-hmm. will begin to see these patterns and they will have I know about uh, fractals. They'll see these entities, yeah, fractals and stuff like that. The craziest thing to me is every single story I've ever heard from someone who has any experience with tripping or whatever, they always encounter the same creatures, they see the same shapes, they have the same experiences. And the wildest story to me, the one that like made me like shut the computer and be like, all right, I'll come back to this at a later day. Um, there were these four guys out west who they all got DMT and they were high for like two days. Like they hooked themselves up mm-hmm. on an IV to stay hydrated. Oh, no. They oh, went, God. yeah, <laughs> yeah. They went in, uh, all four of them came out and said that they had met each other, that they had talked to each other in this fractal plane or whatever. And then while telling the story to other people were able to accurately relay who each other was, what they did. And they all had like a shared experience in this plane of existence huh. or whatever. Um, and I was like, yeah. no, that, that can't be real. And then I keep finding more and more and it, it's, tri- it's driven me up a wall. <laughs> so that's interesting that's to interesting. me. Um, uh, like, like I've only done like mushrooms and acid, but, uh, but I, uh, DMT seems really interesting depending on how you do it. You know, there's the two kinds. I don't get super technical with it. Like, like everybody always wants to pull out a goddamn fake chemistry degree and like dimethyl ethyl kickstein. I'm like, I want to stop him. I want to stop him right there and be like, explain to me how that molecule is constructed could you could you draw it for me like like what kind of bonds are those like no bro but i got it tattooed on my leg bro like i remember just enough chemistry to know that you don't know chemistry so just stop pretending but anyway i'll throw terms out there like ionic bond covalent bond oh potassium oh (laughs) potassium (laughs) boron elements science (laughs) test tubes beakers bunsen burner much you guys are way too smart. Buddy. They clearly know their shit. Fucking, you fucking. I, I always keep a lit Bunsen burner going when I have company over, so they're like, "Wow, this guy." <laughs> <We're> like, <"Hey, laughs> oh, sorry, you caught me. You caught me, on you caught me in the middle of my study, and I'm just I'm melting. <laughs> I'm melting like fifty Snickers minis into a bigger Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! There's actually nothing, Get out of there's nothing funny about that. <laughs> you throw a sheet over it. There's actually nothing funny about melting many chocolate bars. I was about to say, wait a minute. I told you what I'm doing my studies. Get out of my studies. Look, it we have like a guy we... here that has found great success with melting food into bigger yeah. food. I'm there's, just there's saying. totally nothing. It's nothing to laugh. I fat melting little chocolate bars down into one big chocolate bar. It's a genuine thing. Like, like my... absolutely a lot of, a lot of cool like... things about that. I think that's very respectable. My wife telling me that my wife telling me that like no matter how hard I work, no one is going to buy my ten million dollar bar, which is a hundred hundred grams <laughs> melted. Into... <laughs> it's a ten million dollar bar. It's in the shape of Reese's. <laughs> Ahead of your time. I was talking to my dad about Waco the other day. Uh, like, like uh, I don't think that those people were doing anything wrong in there. You know, the government story, we believed it back then because everybody believed it when the government said somebody was a pedophile. But like, <laughs> they were like, yeah, there's a comp, there's this compound full of pedophiles that don't want to pay their taxes and we're going to go get them. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what? Well, they've got yeah. that. That was yeah, a weird, like when I, I never really cared it that much, but I looked into right? it and it looked ridiculous. Um, so well, they, they called it, it a cult, It was a religion. I don't know. It was uh, the Branch Davidians uh, or the church. Oh, they, yeah, that's a cult. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come well, on. Kind of. <laughs> what was the name of your church, Taylor? <laughs> the Branch Davidians. <laughs> that's how I know. I'm an inside man. <laughs> they did have an inside man that ratted them out. Um, who actually went back later and said he regretted doing it uh, in the court case that followed. Um, I've considered doing a Waco video for a long time now. Um, I just, I have to get my language right. Cause it's real easy for me to get fired up about stuff like that. So I've just yeah. got to like aim myself as I go into it. Um, uh, yeah. Easy for you to fly too close to the Instead sun. Of very like, easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way too get, close to the might, sun. Might get a little too real. During <laughs> <one of those. laughs> If you don't, if you want one that's more cut and dry, though, you could just do Ruby Ridge. Um, that, that's, yeah. Oh, that's oh boy, will I? <laughs> Are you working yeah. on a Ruby Ridge video? Um, I, I'm not gonna do a Waco video without bringing up Ruby Ridge because uh, it's the it was the same negotiation team 
at both. So great, great job, guys. Um, oh, I didn't even know that. They, yep, they got to keep their job? Yeah, they got promoted. Uh, as a matter of fact, the guy who was the uh, not the lead negotiator, the lead of the fire team at Waco, was given a promotion to captain, I believe, after the events of Waco. Oh, that seems he was well viewed, yeah. He was viewed in the media as taking down a dangerous group of uh, radicals, uh, yeah. even though yeah. the everyone who was on the ground said that he had actually killed, what was it, 82 children? Uh, yeah, like something that. along those lines and um, he got a star pinned on his chest and everyone said that they didn't know that year since and regretted it however there are pictures of them posing with their rifles next to the bodies of children uh so don't think they exactly cared that much um yeah like i said see it's easy for me to do that <laughs> and get no, I, I, those children could have been enemy up. combatants they could they could have you know they had little them. guns <laughs> <laughs> little, right. guns and little, little grenades well, look at this skeleton. He's clearly armed. Zap. <laughs> Nerfs of mass destruction. One of the wildest things from that footage from uh, from the the Waco thing is there's an FBI agent, maybe two, on a on like a landing. They're like they've gone up one floor up a ladder, and they're on this landing, and now there's like a, a wall with that's the second floor with windows, mm -hmm. and they've got guns, and I think he got, they got, he's got an MP5. I think I remember in his hand, and all of a sudden, machine gun fire comes from inside through the wall and you can see the bullet holes coming out and you know and in, in the movie in the movies they'll like kind of circle in a door but like you can't really do that and most of the time and I, I i know i did it but like like uh, you can't normally do that <laughs> like, 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 but you weren't about to commit an atrocity yeah <laughs> but this guy from the inside is like and you see the bullets pop, pop 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 and the fbi guy is like down and rolling and he does not care that he's a floor up and and i you can imagine if you're getting shot at and you're 12 feet off the ground, you're like, the ground is not, I would love to eat some ground right now. So yeah. he's, he's right off the roof of that building. But I'd never, that's some shit that I've only ever seen in movies. You know, that, that, that it's a trope where the bullet holes come through the wall in sequence mm -hmm. in this perfect line, but they did it. It was wild. It had to be an AK or something like that in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, I I know a guy who runs a merch store who a merch store and one of the pictures he has on the merch store is the ATF agent falling off the roof holding his chest and it says have a nice day across it. Um but <laughs> yeah that like there's I so get five dollars every one. Wow. That's, that's so insensitive to members of the ATF. Yes, who, uh, who we all love. established people. Oh, speaking of Ruby Ridge, the only person, uh, the only oh, ATF yeah. agent who was convicted or any investigation who was done during that time was the sniper who took the shot that killed Vicki Weaver. Um, he was being charged by the state of Idaho, and the feds said, this is our case, we'll deal with it. So they picked it up, and then as soon as Idaho dropped their case, the feds dropped their case, and he was never charged or given anything. So Ugh. funny how that works. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Yeah. Pretty gross, pretty sad. Um, what about the conspiracy about uh, birds not being real? Um, is dude, I know dudes are, that believe. Mm. Oh, I, that was my next question. Are there people who don't believe in birds? But you just confirmed to me that you actually know someone who doesn't believe in birds. So tell yeah. me more about that. <laughs> so birds aren't birds. There's no such thing as birds. Animals don't fly. Have you ever seen any other animals that aren't birds fly? The exactly. Bat. Nothing but birds fly, right? So they're not real. They're actually government robots. And why would they chill on a uh, on power lines, right? That's weird. Why would an animal chill on a power line? Exactly, because they're recharging. They're not actually, they're robots. They're government surveillance robots oh, that sit on power lines yeah. to recharge. Seems For like what it's yeah. worth, the people that I've heard say this, I know to be quite mentally ill. I've not met people that are like of sound really? mind and reason that firmly yeah. believe this. I think it's a similar group of people that believe in the gang stalking stuff. That they often have mental illnesses, or it's the people that see. I believe that the vast majority of flat earthers are trolls. In that, I agree. Like, they really enjoy being like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so there's no there's an ice wall. Yeah. Oh, they don't let right. you fly over that. They love the idea of like finding their dumb friends and getting them to actually believe in it. But the problem is that their smart friends hear it and they think it's funny too. They're in on the joke. And so they pick it up as well. I think that the vast majority of flat earthers are like snickering Demon. behind their, 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 uh, their hand as they look at the person who's just like doing the research now. Like, dude, I looked into it last night, man. Is this for real? <laughs> like, 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 and they're just laughing their ass off. But, but Found a 4chan no, post. 
I didn't under, I didn't know about the fake birds until maybe a year or two ago, and I've read the same shit about how they'll they, they, they're charging on the power line. Yeah, and, I guess they're supposed to be surveillance. Yeah, that's, but, what, but, that's what it is. The government's watching. But, God, they're wasting so much money making those fake David Attenborough documentaries. I just can't believe it. <laughs> I, I watched so much bird propaganda. On, I watched an hour and a half on tropical birds last week. Like, like they produced all of that just to keep up with the lie. I, I, I don't know. You fell for it, man. The turkeys we eat on Thanksgiving, they're robots. See, if they just told me that, like, some birds aren't birds, I'd be like, fuck, that's... All right, that might be that might be a thing. Like, I agree. You... That's more feasible. That's it's not good. feasible, oh, no. but it's better. If they were like, the U.S. government has a drone that looks like a bird. They've had it for over a decade. The drone technology that we saw, those parrot drones, that was 30 years old. They've got bird drones now. They're squawk. They shit on people. They 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 flap. They they, they take French fries they, out of they your lay eggs. Hands. They lay eggs. The eggs are also surveillance spots, and it's, <laughs> it's a self propagating surveillance system. They hatch um, surveillance pigeons. Yes, all of that. They reproduce um, for fuck's sake. Like like that 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 might be a thing, but birds definitely exist. Like the I. What I never understand is why the conspiracies have to be so like vast and all outlandish. Yeah. yeah, like like this conspiracy has to require it requires like every world government to be in on it, and for yeah. there to be some like Illuminati like shadow government. And I'm not completely opposed to the existence of uh, of any of that, but people working together for a common cause is a rare fucking thing, especially and keeping a secret is even rarer. So yep. like all of that seems uh, unlikely to me, especially and, for birds. I've <laughs> shot a bird and eaten it right after I shot it. So I, I definitely know birds are real. I think that anyone who doesn't believe in birds has never eaten a bird before. Or they were just really crazy. He was like, ah, they planted a real one. Look at that. Man. I also yeah. shot Jokes a bird. On them. This I pork hungry. tastes like turkey. Ha, ha. I, I, I also <laughs> shot a bird out of like the sky pork. and ate it. Did you? Yeah, I shot a bird out of the sky and I ate it. With the wires and everything? Shot it with a gun. The green men took over like... Right around then, and when, and it hasn't been the U.S. since then. It's been some sort of weird, <laughs> some sort of triumphant influence. Yeah, yeah, some sort of satanic thing. I saw uh, they were they were interviewing like rural Russians. I'll be kind to call them, and they asked them, uh, you know, like, what do you think about all this? And they're like, ah, oh, it's the Satanists. And I was like, who are Satanists? Because that's not anything that like people here ever talk about, really. But she she was talking about America. Like like she thinks that that we are Satanists. And that we uh, are the the great Satan. I think like Iran says that about us. Man, I, we keep hearing that a lot. Are we sure it's not true? Like a hundred percent that we're not the devil. Are we the bad guys? Yeah, <laughs> we certainly are. Sometimes <laughs> we're not the great. Here's the, we're definitely not the great guys. Okay, uh, <laughs> we can agree on that. Like like we we're as good as you know we we feel like being. I guess. Or I think I feel the, like we're the good guys in this thing now, supplying the Ukrainians and fighting the good fight. That just seems <clears> like. Uh, a good guys versus bad guys thing until you look at um, that agreement that they came to back when it was East Germany and West Germany. And we promised that NATO wouldn't go a step, an inch further to the, to the East. And at that time, like NATO was in the middle of Germany. Right. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to make NATO like touching the Russian border. Right. So like, yeah, I get, we agreed to that. And we, we kept breaking our, like word year after year as we put a country after country into the UN. Yeah, but the US doesn't have to keep its word if it's the strongest country on the planet. Like who's going to And we're the good guys. And, and we're always the good, <laughs> we're the good guys. We're, the, we're good and liars. The, the news I, has I, I hear all we're crazy saying this. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah, good. I don't no, I, I saw that the other day because I wanted to understand like Putin's thing here the, and the whole thing and I guess that's it. It, it. He he doesn't want fucking NATO touching him. He wanted he wants some buffer room between him and NATO, and uh, he sees. Well, that's Ukraine. what he said, he and he also wants Crimea the gas for. I mean, he didn't have a good excuse for that. Well, He's, he wants I that. Mean, like, he wants that both, natural gas. That's a lot. Both sides of lie gas. out of their through their teeth. Yeah, Putin also I, has clips of him saying like, "Oh, oh in like 2002 or whatever, like, oh, we'll never go for Crimea ever." ever. All right, so here's a conspiracy theory that that uh, at the with the Russian thing, right? Fucking the the Nord Stream pipeline. Three out mm. of four of the the tubes get bombed. At the bottom of the fucking ocean, in the middle of the sea, in the middle the of the sea. Sharks are getting good. They're, they're, I think I think I think they're valued at like twenty five billion dollars. This pipeline, or just the just like the pipeline itself, but but it's gushing 
gas into the air and it seems like they can't cap it off or they don't care or they haven't even turned the back oh, it off dude yet. dude russia cares hard that is a huge source of their income that gas you think russia wants the Nord stream to stay in place oh yeah like they, like one of to- no definitely like, i think that they wanted it to stay in place because like if they if they wanted to turn it off they would have just turned it off they wouldn't have destroyed their own infrastructure it doesn't that doesn't make sense to me because like if I you destroy it done that already like if they turn it off, that that's like being able to turn it off is a good bargaining chip. You don't even right? have to turn it off. You, you can, can go, hey, we're going to turn it down or we're going to turn it off. Then they have like a bunch of bargaining power with like Germany and Western Europe with that. Whoever Without did it left. that bargaining chip, they really don't, they're not nearly as powerful. Like it does not serve Russia's interests at all to lose all that income and bargaining power. That occurs to me too, except they're trying to hurt their customers as well. I, I don't know. The line they use is, I guess it's like Germany who's getting this shit. And uh, they want Germany's will to break. They want them to be cold this winter. So they busted. Then they the would, line. then they would turn it down or turn it off. They wouldn't destroy the Nord stream that brings them shit tons of money. That just doesn't make sense. Like they, they want that money. They built that pipeline. And they want to be able to say, Hey, Oh, you're not doing what we want, Germany. Oh, looks like we're turning this down, bitch. Like now so they the don't whole have point, that power. They they've the whole, they've rem- like that's they don't have it anymore. I agree with you. The whole point of this pipeline was, you know, after after the Soviet Union broke up, the the way that Russia was getting its oil to Germany was straight through Ukraine. I think there's two pipelines. Well, then the Ukrainians are going to want their piece, right? So they built this like twenty, thirty billion dollar pipeline in the north. And is that the Black Sea or the Caspian Sea? I don't. I, I think it's the Baltic Sea. I think Balt. Okay, Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we want them seas. And, uh, one of them seas. I, I could think. be wrong. It's one of them. Yeah. No, yeah. it's the Baltic Sea. But uh, 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 I don't know who did it, and it seems like a real who done it because I think the U.S. did it, and and I bet they did it in a fucking cool way. Like I, I doubt. I, <laughs> I don't know you say this now what they got. <laughs> I bet we did did it like a cool way. I bet there were there were guys in with like cool futuristic suits or like speed stealth boats. Somebody no. got dropped out. It, of a it plane. was a boring ass like drone torpedo. There was no dude taping shit to it. Not even a torpedo, right? Like just like a depth charge. You just dump yeah. it over the side of any fucking boat. Some some pleasure cruise, dump it over the side in the right spot. It sinks to the bottom and it breaks the pipeline. Yeah. Notoriously not cool compared to a guy putting on a bunch of and having like one of those shark blades that shoots out air and like going down there. I think y'all are underplaying how, how difficult it is to destroy a thirty billion dollar or a natural gas pipeline at the bottom I think of the sea. Uh, depth charge right next to the pipeline. Pretty big charge. That's not what depth charges do. Uh, based on what I say. Then what do they do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't death charges blow up next to things and hurt them? Yeah. Well, I thought... well, submarines, I think they're meant for like submarines that are like going to bump into them, right? Or, or, or like they go off I... at a certain depth. No, they, like dude, so charge. water doesn't compress. So if I expand it nearby, it, it's almost like hitting you directly because you press on water and you press on the sub. And all I need to do is blow up somewhere near the sub and yeah. The water pushes it's just into almost it. Certain. All right. So let's realistically say that we're going to destroy this pipeline and we're the United States government. We have all the means in the world. You'd use a depth We're not going to use right. something that's meant for like anti-submarine warfare that like, what if we don't, what if it doesn't work? What if we don't turn it just right? We got to hit it in three, this thing in three different places all separated. So we're need, we need three very specific boats with very specific minds. Why don't we send a guy down there with some plastic explosive and like make sure he cuts a little hole in it? I mean, I like I, the idea of James it. Bond with a spear fishing gun doing it itself. That's what they did. <laughs> I, I guarantee they sent James Bond down there with a spear fishing gun. Maybe we have the shark man. At the beginning, we oh, thought it was the Russians. Yes. Maybe we have them, yeah. Now it's making sense. <laughs> now now see, you like, deploy shark It would be Operation like... Wall Man on that part of the hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as Walrus it's not man. as deep as I thought it, it just was. Eighty to eighty to one hundred and ten meters at points. So someone could swim down there with the with the right equipment. And it's twelve millimeters thick. That's like <laughs> yeah, yeah but the, so so the thing is like it doesn't sound like they made like a little hole in it, right? It sounds like they destroyed it in a way that makes it very difficult to repair. Or or this wouldn't be a talk, yeah. right? They'd be like, ah, turn it off real quick. Send Yuri down there with the patch kit. Yeah, we're good, yeah. but it's not. What is that it's... fucking tape that stops leaks? <laughs> flex oh, tape, uh, right? Oh. Flex seal. <laughs> I <laughs> want to now with a can of flex seal. That's the next commercial. Him like putting on his scuba and like going backwards into the fucking. Seat. We destroyed the Russian pipeline. <laughs> 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 no, the whole thing's fascinating. I think there's some real like uh, geopolitical James Bond, Jason Bourne shit going on every day throughout this thing there are movie plots happening every day like i I just imagined what it would be like to be 
like behind those enemy lines in Ukraine right now and want no part of it and be like afraid, like, like on the run, basically? Like, what if you were like released from prison? You cannot go back to Russia, but <laughs> you don't want to get caught by the Ukrainians because you probably end up back in prison. So you've got to like escape Ukraine somehow. I guarantee there's a guy out there right now trying to do that, living on canned food and sneaking around like it's Tarkov. I, I look forward to the movies that come out of this. I'm glad you brought that up. Maybe what oh, you are you? <laughs> yeah, 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 body modification. All right, I want to talk about ancient body modification. Maybe Wendigoon's ever had some of his creepy ass He's stories. an expert, That's... he mentioned before. Because <laughs> like, one of those things I saw was that, I think it's that South American tribe that would practice the, uh, the skull elongation where they wrap mm -hmm. the baby skulls. And you can see photographs of babies that have had it done and their eyes are bulging. Africa, but what they end up with is um, these skulls that have been found down there and they look like, x-files aliens okay like legitimately and they're real they're human skulls that through that practice have been made to look like this now here's what all of the alien ancient alien people always go to they don't say those are alien babies because of course we can dna test them or maybe you know the rest of it's biologically human whatever they say why were they doing that why did they want to look like that who were they trying to emulate maybe there was Maybe there were some sort of alien overlords that were coming down, get, teach them agriculture and uh, animal domestication. You know, the beginning of the skill tree and sim, mm -hmm. yeah. pottery. And, uh, uh, and, and, and they had these big heads and they were like, oh, if only we could look like the gods. Because imagine, if you will, because in Christianity and all of the Abrahamic religions, right? Like, like God looks like us. It's a key part of it. It's right there in the beginning somewhere. Yeah. If your God didn't look like you, uh, it is. Yeah. we are made in him his image. Yeah. That's Imagine it, yeah. if God didn't look like Whoa. us. How, how, is that how, a like, real one? No. no. I don't no, think. That, no, that's, that's not a, a real that's one. That's a wood carving. That's a wood carving. Well, I don't, I don't know what Zach's trying to do to me here, but, but there are real skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you pull up that X-Files alien autopsy footage from the 90s, too? Like, <laughs> you know what's funny? It's like, Kyle, there I was like, really, I was putting like stock into what you were saying and like this image, like, like really, like, really well, that just undermined your story. God damn it, Zach. So you think it was some sort of some alien emulation of, so I was thinking like, Oh, I don't think that at all. No, no, no. I'm just saying like, I've often watched, I've often watched those shows where that's their pitch. Like, Hey, mm. this is why they did it. Cause they want, they want to tie everything that's a little peculiar in the past to aliens. Right. And right. if you can like rope that one in to make that sort of a supporting argument for, whatever other mm -hmm. kooky shit you've got like chariots in the bible being spaceships or whatever like that's a good one to start with for sure there i mean the bible talks about wendigo absolutely knows more about this but like uh you're familiar with like the nephilim and, oh, and all of that oh it, yeah <laughs> you know i, I would some love audience members who haven't heard of it can you bring them up yeah to speed? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all right, five, five minutes out the gate, we're in my zone. Let's go. Okay. Hell yeah. uh, so in the Bible, there's mentions of things called Nephilim, which also off, often translates to giants or mighty men. Uh, and they're mentioned in the book of Genesis as being the children of what happened when the sons of God mingled with the daughters of men. So some people think this to be the idea of righteous people with unrighteous people, but some take that literally and think it's the products of angels breeding with humans mm -hmm. um there's mentions of angels coming down to earth so a lot of people draw that out of it <clears throat> see they got kyle it was <laughs> <laughs> you're dangerous i'm gonna keep a head on a <laughs> yeah, taylor's next don't worry <laughs> uh anyway so giants are mentioned in the bible uh there's some famous ones like goliath for example uh, there's a giant that uh, I believe it was Noah faced. Noah faced giants in his age. Uh, so there's a few places that they're mentioned specifically, but there's this idea throughout the Old Testament that they were a reoccurring thing. Uh, mm. Like when it ever talks about they go to Canaan, that they see giants in the land of milk and honey that they have to wipe out. There's giants among the Philistines, what have you. So the idea is there's this uh, biblical record of giants, and there's also a record of giants throughout other written histories like pretty much every group of people either had a legend or history of giants somewhere in their culture they tend to pop up around the historical record um and the idea is since the bible is the oldest in my opinion the oldest debated between that and like zoroastrianism as being the oldest religion ever that it's the first evidence of giants existing and in the bible they're called nephilim so yes nephilim are like the the starting route for a ton of crazy i'm sorry to interject 
series. We had a guest like two months ago arguing with me, telling me that Zoroastrianism wasn't the first religion. Do you remember that? Yeah, I, 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 I do remember that. that yeah, that, that was Aiden. That was Aiden. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, that became more of an argument than I thought it would be. And I was just kind of like, oh damn! Like now we're like getting heated over <laughs> over like demons and shit. If if, if, if it me if it means uh, if it helps Kyle any. The theory that most people have, like myself, who believe that Christianity was, or like the Bible, Judaism at the time was first, is that Judaism and Zoroastrianism were simultaneous, that they kind of branched out at the same point uh, in the historical record, which I have my own theories that Zoroastrianism is mentioned in the Old Testament as being other religions that are mentioned around the time of Abraham, but blah, blah, blah. Um, I, you see what I mean? You got me in my zone. No, that's, that's interesting. Well, <laughs> I, I have been admiring yeah this, i like this stuff. Uh, <laughs> this, this i was like it's cool when we have like a professional level <laughs> guest on the show <laughs> i uh, like where i'm a sunday yeah. school teacher like you know a, a lot of what i do is talking to you know people my age and stuff they're like oh well you know christ wants us to live this way blah 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 but there's also a lot of all right kids so i found this verse in genesis i think it means that aliens came to israel blah 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 yeah i, I get to go on my whole rants and stuff so that's so fun. the bible so the bible is is kind of exacting when they give the um the dimensions of something like the ark do yes. they ever tell us about how tall these these giants are supposed to be because that's so important Yes, yeah, it does. Uh, whenever it mentions Goliath, which is, there's times that it mentions giants who stand with their waist at the height of man. That's more general. Goliath is specifically mentioned as, I think, nine and a half feet tall. Yeah, shit. Well, all right, all right, all right. Like Robert Wadlow what? size. Now, now when you say you? nine and a half feet, are you accounting for like their feet being tiny? Did they actually use their foot as a I, foot I, in I, that time? Because me to be fair, these Hold are... On poorly fed jewish men that's true about five thousand years ago <laughs> right. these are okay. small fellas well it, i think they use measurement from your your elbow to your wrist or something like that they, they, they use the, they use the measurement is. of cubits cubits they use the measurement cubits. of cubits uh if i remember it's yes it says that he was six cubits and a span um which a cubit's about a foot and a half so that comes out to a little over nine and a half feet Six yeah, see, see that's a, see that's the problem. So, like, obviously, there you're dealing with some exaggeration because, like, I I, I don't believe that in that time, even with like a pituitary thing or whatever, okay. whatever makes people gigantic, that he'd have like the diet capable of of ex of surviving to manhood and being a, a nine foot tall being. <laughs> no, you, you know, know what would be mean? funny is like if like that's entirely true. But Goliath was one of those pituitary giants. And so he, went, he went out to fight David, and they're like, there he is, the giant. And he has, like, crutches. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beast. And they just bully him with a stone. <laughs> we were going to see if you guys had any medical intervention for him. God, don't kill him. Old school. Do you know about the, po do you know about the Potsdam Goliath. giants? That sounds familiar. So it's it's a giants. It was a Prussian infantry unit in like 1675. All right. Now, <laughs> I, I can't remember if it was like the Prince of Prussia or the whatever, the, the, the guy in charge, or at least in charge enough that he could have his own military unit at his whim, selected only the tallest men in the whole fucking Prussian Empire. Yeah. Stupid question. What in where is the tech tree in 1685? Like <clears throat> Uh, they got like shitty um, um, guns, like, like, like a, early old, imperial age. You have access to trebuchets, like stuff, yeah. shitty guns. They probably there'd be a lot of cavalry and still like armor, I would imagine, and like silly hats with points on them, and uh, probably some lots, you know, swords and pikes and shit. Swords, pikes, and the occasional. Flip. We're a hundred years from the American Revolution, you know, and like guns being that good. Yeah, they were like, so, that's the time they were figuring out, like, we got to phase out armor because we're now making, like, muskets that can blast through stuff. Mm. Well, anyway, this, oh, go ahead. this go. guy who I think was probably gay was, like, fascinated <laughs> with tall men, okay? It was, like, his jam. So he, like, searches the kingdom. He's gay about quote, that. There's this quote from him. Hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> there's this great quote. And he's, he's you like, oh, you can't have a harem right? of tall men or it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's got this great quote. I want Zach to find it. Well, I should I've given some contact clues to his identity. I just can't remember the fucking, you know, Prince of Prussia's name. But he had he said something like, keep your 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 this, keep your that. Give me a tall man. 
right. And it, all right. He and, may be on to something. But, but he was like, this would be a good video, I think, because like this regiment apparently was really tall guys because he searched the whole like country and got on. And he even had a breeding program where he was trying to like pair up the tallest women and the tallest men to, you know, make an even yeah. taller regiment. He never used them in battle because he was so beloved. They were so beloved. What on earth? I, I'm, I'm looking huh. at his Wikipedia. The, the height of the king who organized this, 5'3". And so imagine how monstrous this battalion. And apparently the minimum height was 6'2", which back yeah. then is enormous. Like, yes. like uh, Today, 400 is years usually ago, the tallest guy in a room. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Like if you're six would, to 400 years ago, like you're probably starting conversations walking. I bet, he, he would find us the average them. height for the time, Zach, because that's important. But I would guess that you're like Harley, essentially. You know, like you're, you're like a six, five, six, six guy. Like everybody's like, oh, Seven shit, one, one of them are here. Yeah. Yeah. You, like they would think there's something like wrong with you or they'd be just like jealous of like, wow, that guy gets to eat every day. No, it'd uh, be hard to be like, again, I think it would be there's a reason people used to be smaller and because it. It didn't work to be big. Like a big man can't like work. All right, if you're five five, you do a day's work. That gives you enough grain to support your five foot five body or whatever from the the boss. I just don't think the six foot six guy can do enough work to get him enough grain to to like make up the difference. You know what I mean? He's not working hard enough to get enough grain more than the other guy. We're all getting fed the same. Some I wonder if big. we like. I wonder if we got shorter after agriculture. Is that something I made like when we, like that people were taller that like some hunter or maybe this is like some other thing. They found like hunter gatherer tribes that are pretty tall because they ate like so much meat like Neanderthal or I guess Neanderthals Nephilim, are like a, kind of a different thing. Giant. Yeah, it was the circles Nephilim. back in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> those circles back in. Does him. that mean the angels are black? No. <laughs> what? Angels are, are it's a it's a total misconception that angels are even people, man. You've read I the Bible. That. You've I've... you've seen the orb of eyes. I had to make a black show. The the uh <laughs> <athleticism>. <laughs> of I know it's not theologically correct. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, no, see, that's that. not canon. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the the the, the ophanim, right? The canon. The oh, I love calling the Bible eyes. canon. Yeah, it's, it's oh, not yeah, canon. It's <laughs> and the only answer that that comes to mind is that's the sort of thing that our government does sometimes when they're taking somebody down, like a political figure or something like that. They make yeah. those sorts of false evidences, famously. Yeah. Like if you look at the sort of things they were doing to Martin Luther King or, or, or uh, Malcolm X, or um, you know, even we talked about, you know, it's people we don't like as well. It's not like they're just picking on civil rights leaders also like fidel castro just mm -hmm. all those wily coyote stunts they tried to pull making his beard fall out making him yep. be on lsd during his speeches mm -hmm. all that craziness kookiness and the the bad part is they kept failing somehow like how did fidel keep getting the best of us over and over the, that had to be such, a uh, such an uh, l operation mongoose which was their their operation to kill him or depower him or whatever is the dumbest so it's it's literally like they watched a Bugs Bunny cartoon and were like, we could do this. We could. What is it? it? Like, what? So they it was an operation the CIA put together that was off the books for a while. Uh, the guy who headed it was, man, I forget his name. He's the same guy who headed Operation Wailing Soul, uh, which is when they tried to convince the Vietnamese that there were ghosts in the jungle. Oh, that's it, a good one. Yeah, that, it was the same guy. The same guy what who ran that one. Ridiculous country. And and the and the same guy who uh, staged the vampire attack in the Philippines, which I made a video about. Yeah, uh, but that it, was his so, credit that he used to get that second. Game. Literally, that's the guy who they're like he's he's got Castro in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be fine. <laughs> Castro notoriously afraid of ghosts. <laughs> so, the Operation Mongoose was uh, essentially his series of plans to get rid of Castro. And some of the plans in there that they sent agents on to try to do was put exploding cigars in his cigar box. Um, they tried to put poisonous pins in his slip in his house shoes so that he steps on attack and gets poisoned um, or venom. Uh, they tried to uh, they tried to sabotage the cattle in um, Cuba because Castro was famously a big fan of ice cream. So they were like, if we can huge. get rid of ice cream, yeah, huge. Uh, Two fights tonight. It How literally. Stay slim? If if we Didn't. can get th their plan was if we can Seems get really rid cool, of man. ice cream, he's gonna fall apart. Like he'll just be he'll fall apart at the seams. <laughs> he needs uh, his ice cream. <laughs> they tried to they tried to poison his ice cream on multiple occasions. They tried to have his server like spike it with something. 
Uh, there was what Kyle said. They tried to spike his drink at meetings so he would go up to stage high. Yeah. Um, I did hear they uh they that time they they painted a tunnel on a rock in front yeah, of the that, that's <laughs> what they were getting and, to. And it was yeah. insane. <laughs> Look, Fidel's 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 limo approaches the rock they painted, and the CIA was over there watching, like, oh, oh, oh we got him this time. I don't fucking believe it. He drove. Through, the <laughs> and, 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 and the CIA was like, "All right, well, we, we can still get him." And they rushed to run through the rock as well, bust their heads on it right there <laughs> on the ground. It was yeah. humiliating. It was Hoisted humiliating by their own petard. <laughs> That's that was the downfall of that uh, that weapon manufacturer. What was uh, mm -hmm. Acme? Acme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made <laughs> yeah, they made terrible weapons. Uh, <laughs> you could never recover so after that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was no. a reputation. No, but yeah, they they tried to kill him in so many. A pint of ice cream is roughly never 800 worked. calories. Up. Like if he's eating vanilla ice cream, I think a pint's like 800 calories roughly. If it's full fat ice cream, and you got to imagine that Problem. 1960 shit is not skim milk. That ain't no oat ice cream. That's some full. That's must some have double been, fat. He must have been skimping on calories a lot of the day to afford. Sixteen hundred smoking cows. those ciggies. He was, was he a like, big like he had two bowling balls in oh, his belly. That guy, you that guys guy act was, like uh, he stayed thin. All the photos I, I remember, remember of him are are like young him with that powerful you know, yeah, we're, beard. We're remembering was, like the young picture. He probably got fat as hell. Here's the thing, though. Remember how long he lived? Like, like he just died like yeah, 10, 12 died years recently. ago or something. No, no, Raul? it was like it was like four years ago, four or five years ago. But Raul had happened. taken over, I guess, maybe for a while. Yes, yeah, Castro had been older to the side for a bit. Yeah, Raul I'm glad we opened that. that shit up. Like that's old business, as far as I'm concerned. Like we should be able to get those cigars if they're actually any fucking good. Yes, cigars yeah. suck, man. Uh, they're, they're they're just, the... They just they're gross. They just I'm don't willing... taste good. Have you ever like? All right. Every time I've you start my a cigar, you're always feeling like I'm gonna feel classy. I'm gonna get it, and then you start it, and you're thinking, "I'm in I like, this for an hour." <laughs> I've told this whole story before, but like I got into cigars, and because like, I got like a humidor and maybe some other like accessories for Christmas one year, and I had like a dude, I got a three hundred dollar lighter. Like, let's we should probably buy a cigar, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so I got into them, and I realized right away, like the regular like I don't know kind of cigars that like dudes smoke on a golf course just make me lightheaded and taste like strong thick wet tobacco but the ones i like were these cigarillos that were somewhere kind of like that shit clint eastwood would always be chewing on like about that diameter it's not a big fat cock that they're, you're puffing on it's just a little bit bigger than a cigarette but it's brown wrapping and they're flavored and i think it's more like a white guy swisher sweet if i'm being honest like they were classy or they were like you know they were the the flavors you'd get at a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they maybe I think they probably actually used oranges in the ones I was. So buying. you're smoking <laughs> wood tip wines. <laughs> like like they were expensive. And I was I, I would always stop and like for maybe a year I was smoking those things. I would stop when we went to Florida and uh at a at like a cigar place that was there. But every time we went to Vegas, I would stock up. But those I like. But the I but, but like what cigars Well those aren't a big like? commitment. Like Commit you're just smoking a normal a little if you want to throw away half oh, of the time, cigarillo, you don't care. Oh, yeah. Oh, forget the time. And and the other thing is like, when do you light it up? Like 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 what? It's got to be like when you're back home, when you can smoke it freely. The worst thing ever is when someone's smoking one in your presence and it's disgusting. Like, like, like I've played poker with with a guy who smoked cigars before, and he was like, not right next to me, but one seat over, ruined the whole night for me. Like I, I like the it. smell of cigars, even if I don't I like smoking do them. Too. They they smell pretty good. He was like, smoking some. It was rich. like it was, it was like unrolling and peeling apart, and he was gnawing at it incessantly. So it was all wet and like I would describe the appearance of his that's cigar rude. as vulgar. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, well, then that is just that's a rude problem of him. It seems because if he was just sitting there and like was, smoking it normally, not he was like eating it, short and fat. And I remember thinking like, whose friend is this? Like, like who is this person? Yeah, he didn't he have a lot. Of the penguin hanging out. It, honestly like not far from it it was such a gross old cocksucker